By just under 15 miles, they played each other 63 times, dating back to 1938. It's a rivalry game like no other. It's Hampton versus Norfolk State. It's the Battle of the Bay. Hello and welcome to Armstrong Stadium on the campus of Hampton University in Hampton, Virginia. The 64th edition of one of the best rivalries in college football already underway. The good news is no score yet between the Spartans and the Pirates. Glad to have you with us here on BCSBN and Flow Sports alongside Steve Foster. I'm Kip McConico. Foss, you and I have been ready for this game since last season. These two teams, they know each other. They do not like each other. Proximity breeds contempt, and few rivals are located as close together as Hampton and Norfolk State. Yeah, and again, uh, you got to take your caps off and roll up your sleeves because both of these teams, this is definitely a rivalry game. I love rivalry games, and right now, uh, no scorer, as you mentioned. Hampton marched down the field, ultimately could not come away with points on their first possession in Norfolk State into Hampton territory. Big gain here from the Spartans. And they are looking to put themselves in good position as we welcome in the third member of our crew down on the field, Shaylin Moore. So again, Hampton took it down. Had the opening drive, ultimately punted it away for the touchback. Tristan Eaton with a 37-yard punt. But now the Spartans led by Otto Coons, the junior quarterback, second year with Norfolk State after transferring from Eastern Illinois. And there is a flag down on the field, and it's going to be the Spartans heading back after the false start. Foss last year. Coons, his first year with Norfolk State, completed 54% of his passes, threw for 1,400 yards, 11 touchdowns. But Coach Odoms has said there has been a 360-degree difference in the quarterback he is off the field, and he's been able to see that leader in the locker room. Well, that's important. Uh, you know, the signal caller has to control the offense, support a great defense, and make it work, especially on the road. So Coons... Out of Carroll, Ohio, it'll be a handoff and a running, getting close to the original line of scrimmage, but then the wave of Pirates into there. This is a stout Pirates defense led by their linebacking core. That is really the strength of Hampton's defense. Well, you can see that, and not going to allow uh, the rushing of Lex Henry, who had over 70 yards last week, unfortunately in a loss, get loose. Henry, the man to keep an eye on. Hampton not any contact there in the neutral zone. So it'll bring up second and 11. First drive of the ball game for Norfolk State. Coons has a man complete across the original line of scrimmage. First down across the 20. The 10 touchdown Spartans. Norfolk State on the board. Aaron Moore, the senior with the first score for the Spartans. And what I liked about that wide receiver screen is that it was close to the boundary and you had your receiver stay outside, didn't bring him into the defense of Hampton. And so it was a foot race. And the grad student, Aaron Moore, number six, just shows off his speed down the sideline. You said it, Coons rolling back, had Moore, a wall of blockers set up for him and Moore turns on the Jets, races in, and Norfolk State strikes first in the Battle of the Bay. That, that's well designed, Kit, and the offsides will give uh, Norfolk State an opportunity now to uh, attempt another point after touchdown after that 41-yard slip screen on the sideline there by Hampton, or Norfolk State, excuse me. Braden Wilcox, the sophomore from Ocala, Florida, to attempt the extra point. And Wilcox sends it through. Seven to nothing, Norfolk State on top. And the Spartans have the first points at Armstrong Stadium. Boss, Norfolk State, obviously, they are going to have to be road warriors this year. Seven road games, never back-to-back -back home games this season. 
But if they can pick up a victory today in this huge rivalry game, particularly after dropping their first game a week ago, this would be massive for them. Yeah, and they lost to a very good Virginia State team with Jada Byers. So, you know, can score points. Now, uh, getting out in front of the Pirates here on the road, as you mentioned, it's a great start for the Spartans. It is indeed. Gave up 33 points in that loss to Virginia State last week. Obviously, that crazy finish. But Norfolk State, they are going to keep it on the ground. You saw the little slip screen there to Moore for the touchdown. But by and large, it is going to be about that running back contingent led by... We mentioned the man, Lex Henry, very impressive running back, is the junior out of Virginia Beach. And now how does Hampton respond? They had a good drive, their first possession, couldn't come away with points. We'll see what Chris Zellis and company can here. Wilcox. It'll be fielded just inside the 10. Up across the 20 and then hit hard. Unable to find any more space on the return. That was Dorian Moultrie, the grad student transfer from Georgetown. You know, Georgetown has an interesting field. It's on top of a building. So now, at least on the ground and showing some good speed uh, coming up the field with the return. Zealous and company back out. Zellis is 6'3", 220-pound redshirt junior out of Greensboro, North Carolina. Last week against Grambling, he's the offensive MVP in the Brick City Classic. Also the CAA Offensive Player of the Week. He counted for four touchdowns, and he's going to be forced to scramble up across the 30 and the 35 before finally brought down. Zellis, the first down on the quarterback keeper to move the chains. Zealous in the Pirates offense moving quickly. It'll be a handoff trying to bounce it outside, looking for some space. And now cutting back across midfield, still on his feet and in to Spartan territory, down to the Norfolk State 45. Elijah Burris. Elijah Burst, the junior from Gastonia. He's part of that two-headed monster. He and Butts, both very impressive running backs. And here comes Burris again, busting three and upended at the 35. Kind of like the ground game of Hampton as one of the keys I looked at is loot and plunder, not just the pass, <laughs> but you got to plunder too. So... Oh, and hit in the back. What a stop. Flying for was Dalen Long, the redshirt sophomore from Cincinnati with a stick in the backfield. And a great second and third level tackle as you have somebody that's typically in coverage. Along the weak side linebacker read that one. Able to get there now. It'll bring up third and four. Out of the shotgun is Zealous. Trip receivers to the top. Zealous looking that way, has a man. Lofts this one and too far in front of his intended target. Unable to link up with Paul Woods. That was his favorite target a week ago in that victory over Grambling. Paul Woods, the grad student and transfers from Rutgers. Couldn't come up with one there. So decision time, and it appears that the Pirates will punt it away. It'll be fourth and five from the Spartans' 38-yard line. Tristan Heaton, the grad student out of Henderson State University, the Division II school in Arkansas. And this one will trickle out a good punt, and it's going to be a long field for the Spartans. But Norfolk State with the lead, 8.36 remaining in the first, the Battle of the Bay. Spartans with the early. Are you tired of seeing money all around the house? 
Then start saving money with First American Home Warranty. First American covers the systems and appliances you depend on every day. And if we can't repair your covered item, we'll replace it. I've saved thousands, and that makes me happy. All plans include a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee and flexible payment options so you can never pay for covered repairs again. Call 1-800-395-5945. That's 800-395-5945. My dad's name was David. He always talked about getting life insurance, and now it's too late. Don't be Dave, and don't wait until it's too late to get the life insurance coverage you need. If you're over 50, you can't be turned down for this insurance. There's no medical exam, no health questions. Your rate will never go up. Your coverage will never go down. And rates start as low as $5 a week. 800-540-0299. Subway slicing their turkey fresh, like on the Titan Turkey. Pile high with double the cheese and more meat. Mm. 94% of students say Grammarly helps improve their grades. Download Grammarly for free. Around here, people aren't afraid of hard work, and we don't quit till the job is done. For over 100 years, Long Lewis has partnered with Alabama to provide honest value. Our best price up front every time. No dealer fees ever. Even a money-back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied. That's how we became the largest dealer in Alabama and number one in customer satisfaction in the nation. Because in the long run, it's Long Lewis. Every Monday on Fox Soul. The Battle of the Bay, 64th edition between Norfolk State and Hampton. Spartans able to strike first, 41-yard touchdown to go ahead as we bring in the third member of our crew, Shaylin Moore, down on the field. Hello, you all. Nice joining us. I'm right here at Armstrong Stadium, and after a lot of lightning and rain delays, we are finally underway. Both teams have kind of got things going early, but as you can see, where Spartans are up seven, they came, they scored early, and they have a lot to prove, probably playing with a chip on their shoulder after taking a tough loss to Division II Virginia State last week right at home. Whereas Hampton, right now, they're looking to try to make an impact. We can expect them to run the ball a lot today. That's been their game. That's what worked for them last week against Gramlin. But overall, it looks like the crowd is kind of packing in here. The rain held up, and now we are underway. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, Shaylin. Weathering the storm literally down there. We were lightning some rain but finally underway here in hampton virginia armstrong stadium foss these two schools they know each other we mentioned the rivalry between both of these hampton impressive in their season opener the victory over grambling norfolk state that just crazy finish ultimately ended up falling to virginia state looking to bounce back today and off to a good start the defense they've been able to get the stops a little 41 yard scripts slip screen in their first possession and more able to take it in for the touchdown now we'll see what Otto Coons and company can do here their second time out for the Spartans offense Coons out of the shotgun Coons has a man downfield and broken up at the last second able to come in and knock that one away was Corey Wilson well a great pass and a lot of air under that ball and looks like Jason that ball was there but a great defensive play too pardon me that was Cam Sturdivant and you would imagine so the star sophomore defensive back Sturdivant all over the field able to knock that one away it was a catch indeed again to the air has Coons and he has a man he couldn't hold on and you see Norfolk State already showing their intentions as there is a flag down on the play. You and I thought it would be the Lex Henry show and Coach Odoms instead electing to go to the air early and often. It's going to be offside against Hampton. Kevin Johnson there, the big defensive lineman. 
So it'll make it second and five. Robert Prunty, fifth year as the Hampton head coach. His counterpart, Dawson Odom's third year with the Spartans. And the handoff right into a wall of blue. Picks up maybe three. It'll bring up third and short. Muhammad, the big back, the change of pace back from Lex Henry. So third and three. What do Coons and company have dialed up here? Jumbo said it's going to be a handoff, weaving it way through. And enough for the first down. Needed three, picked up four, and moves the chains. Well, I guess if you have two fours on the back of your jersey, uh, Muhammad Nayagombunkinda, the junior out of Brooklyn. Yeah, the big back there using that size, and why not let the big man rumble in that situation? Picks up a fresh set of downs. The junior out of Brooklyn. Yeah, listed at 6'2", 240 pounds. Transfer from Mount San Antonio College. There's a change there. You see coming off, big number 75. One of those starting linemen we will see. Now there's going to be a reconfigured offensive line. Evan Gregory. Gregory, one of the stalwarts on that line. The handoff, weaving away through Henry. Henry up across the 35 to the 36. That's what you expect to see from Lex Henry, such an elusive back. He's, he's, he's compact, which is great. 5'8", about 189 pounds last week. 21 yards on 20-plus carries and a touchdown. 3.6. Uh, you can you can work that mathematically. Hand it to him three times and move the the chains. It's about improving the defense. And again, they will go to Henry. Henry picks up a hard two there. They keep it inside against that front seven. Seven new starters on D for Hampton. A lot of experience lost, but they brought in a lot of quality players, particularly in that front seven. Yeah, they did. I absolutely did. And uh, secondary not really doing uh, a, a lot of work against Lex Henry. Just got to keep that back in because, as we mentioned, a lot of passes going downfield. It'll be third and five. Spartans looking to keep the drive alive. Ball at their own 38. Play action has a man underneath. And not able to get back to the original line of scrimmage. So you'd imagine the Spartans will have to punt it away here. His home with there slipping. Couldn't come up with the first down. Could have been a big gain for the freshman out of Burnsville, Minnesota. But a good defensive play there by the Pirates. Bring up a punting situation here on fourth and about four. Five. So it'll be Graydon Wilcox. So a timeout taken. The first timeout taken by the Spartans. We'll take it with them. 5-16 remaining in the first. Still 7-0 Spartans in the Battle of the Bay. If you've been injured in an 
accident that's not your fault and you don't have an attorney, listen up. We have legal professionals standing by to answer your questions and tell you what your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina along with spokesman Rob. So Rob, tell the folks at home who should call right now. Just like you said, Gina, anyone who's been injured in an accident that was not your fault, you don't have an attorney, give us a call right now. We're going to answer all of your questions and we'll let you know what your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Rob. You heard it, folks at home. Pick up the phone. Call now. We're going to celebrate our very own Queen Vivica A. Fox, who recently appeared on Fox hit show, The Mask. Singers. Cocktails with the Queens. My phone was blowing up the whole night. They was like, I knew it was you. So now I go places and they're like, what's up, Mother Nature? Every Monday night. I just want to say one thing. Can the people get out of my inbox? Because oh, yes. apparently somebody think I'm the skunk and I'm not. On Fox Soul. Mass Singer, you already had one of the Queens. Come get each one of them, all right? Clorox Free and Clear is tough and gentle. Experience mouth-watering bliss starting at only $3.99. Churches. Dior. Stereotypes are meant to be broken, so let's break them all down. On Fox Soul. Welcome inside the black box. So you guys ready to have some fun? Forget the acting studio. I'm here with you guys. Creativity. Hardest hold 31 wins, 29 losses, one tie. But the Pirates looking for back-to-back -back victories. First time since 2012-2013. As Norfolk State punts it away from their own 35. It'll be fair caught. Pirates will start the drive at their own 29. Here's an opportunity for the Pirate offense to at least flip this field, if not get in the end zone. They moved the ball, kid. But Zellis thus far is just one of three, 35 yards. Burris and Butts, both two rushes. Burris has picked up 30 yards, and we'll see if it is indeed that two-headed monster of Elijah Burris and Deron Butts coming again. Butts the man who will take the handoff. And he stopped after a gain of two. Voss, we said it for the Spartans. It was about improving their defense. Last year, they gave up over 40 points per game. They gave up more rushing yards, passing yards, and total yards than any other team in the MEAC. But this year with their veteran secondary, they know they have to clamp down. Oh, absolutely. But you can sure up that back end. You can let that front six and seven roam freely. Get off those blocks and make tackles. Sean Fauntleroy, excuse me, rather, in on the tackle. Savion Clark, the defensive lineman. And there is Mr. Zealous. Last week, so impressive. Four total touchdowns. Did have two interceptions, though. As impressive as he was in that victory over Grambling, that's something they certainly want to keep in check. He was the offensive MVP of the Brick City Classic. 14 of 21, and he will keep it here. Goes to the air, has a man wide open, complete across the 40. And cutting back inside, upended at the 28, a big gain. And Hampton able to take it into Norfolk State territory. That is what Pirates fans were hoping for right there. Dorian Moultrie with the reception. He had a nice touch by Chris Ells. Over the defenders, dropped it into his receiver. Another penalty flag. As you see, Pirates trying to move quickly, a little too quickly there, Foss. That, that happens. 
want to get that tempo going and take advantage of a defense that may be a little winded after an explosive play. Boston take this opportunity to look at your keys to the game. You mentioned loot and plunder for the Pirates. It just makes sense? Oh, it absolutely does. And that's that pass in the run. But right now we'll talk uh, strong leadership because this quarterback, the CAA player of the week as well, uh, with his strong leadership, is huge for this Hampton University offense and team. As a man underneath that is caught, Elijah Butts. Butts across the 20, and it's going to be close to a first down. We'll see where they mark him. And this is all because, if you look at this replay, read the defense, and you don't have to knock your guy down. Get the ball to him out in space and let those playmakers get down the field. That's a great play on first down, kid. And apologies, Elijah Burris there, the junior running back out of Mountain Island Charter High School in Gastonia, North Carolina. He will take the handoff, remains in, tries to bounce it outside, away from one tackler. He's inside the 10, still on his feet, and finally down at the one. I love the way that the running backs bounce the ball outside because, again, you're trying to make things a foot race when you can get an opportunity to go off tackle, bounce the ball outside, make it a foot race. That's exactly what happens as we see, but make that move, uh, excuse me, Burris, make the move and get inside the five. Burris remains in, Hampton averaging five and a half yards a rush, and they have done it on the ground thus far. First and goal from the one. Quarterback keeper Zealous lowers the head. He's going to get there. Will he? No, they're going to mark him short. It looks like he was able to reach. But knee. That knee was just shy when that knee hit. You're exactly right, my friend. Now you got a quarterback trying to run over two linebackers. And, you know, A for effort. But unfortunately, squared up, got the shoulder pad so he doesn't take the hit. But as you're stretching out, you see the knees touch on the turf before the ball breaks the plane. So it certainly has the size, 6'3", 220 pounds. What does he elect to do here? Second and goal from the one. And stood up, knocked back, maybe for a loss was Burris. And it's decision time for the Pirates with third and goal from the one. One of my other keys is, this is Sparta! And the Spartans of Norfolk State right there on the goal line. They have to come, you know, I don't know, people have at least heard of the movie 300. And there is a classic and electric scene where you get that saying. And right there, the Spartans step up. They're 0 for 2 in third down conversions thus far. Quarterback keeper dropping back. Has a man complete touchdown. Pirates wide open was the big side in. Evan King, the sophomore from Illinois with the touchdown. Chris Ellis, again, I, I, go, I go back to Luton Plunder. Big gain uh, through the air, dropped it off to Burris in the flats. Burris on a couple of run plays. Now with a little RPO on the goal line. And you want to have a big target. Sitting there right at the front of the end zone. You don't have to throw it far. Just break the plane, make the catch. So flag down, and we will see. That may just be excessive celebration against the Pirates, and they are hoping that's all it is. Well, and that could be assessed on the point after touchdown or on the kickoff. Hampton University marching force band under the direction of Dr. Thomas L. Jones in full voice. And now a turn that is. You take points off the board or never put them on. Let's say that 444 to go in the first. And now the offense is going to have to come back on. And it's interesting because the band from Hampton hasn't recognized and realized that no touchdown has been given because of the pass interference on the goal line. Probably an illegal pick turning into pass interference. Third penalty against the Pirates, and that is a killer 15-yard penalty. It goes from a touchdown to now third and, and goal from the 16. Yeah. 
and uh, that's something that you certainly don't want to see, especially down on the goal line. You're like, look, we just worked our way into the end zone, and I think you see the Hampton University coaching staff going, you called that a pick? And you, you see... Uh, okay, I'm not sure how you make a, an overturned ruling of pass interference. First and foremost, it's subjective anyway. So a scrape where you have two receivers and one cuts off the other's backside can be considered a pick if you shield and block a defender. Well, Coach Odoms, he wants an explanation. Right. This is third year there with the Spartans, record of 8-15 and 15 at Norfolk State. His 13th year as a head coach, all-time 72-59 and 59 his record. Coach Prunty, conversely, I don't think either coach pleased with this. We will see what the officials have to say upon further inspection, but this still early, six seconds remaining in the first quarter. This is one of those calls that could, dare I say, be a game decider. See if we can get another look at it. Again, interference called against Hampton. What do you see, Foss? Well, number six is going to be the one who's going to get called, if any, because you're blocking when the ball is in the air and you're in the end zone. So that would be the call. The wide, the widest wide out, he's out of the play. That, that, that's not going to affect the play. So you can pick up this flag and overrule that and say it's a touchdown. The pass was first touched beyond the line of scrimmage. Therefore, we have offensive pass interference. Side down. If it was a screen, you could do some blocking downfield. However, the pass was caught beyond the line of scrimmage, and if you're engaged in blocking while the ball's in the air, it's offensive pass interference. Yeah, good explanation there from our referee, Henry Wimberg. So, again, a huge call early on, and it'll be third and goal from the 17-yard line for the Pirates. And as you mentioned, six seconds on the clock here in the first quarter. Third and goal. So it's trip receivers to the top. Plenty of time. Has a man complete, and it's caught, but he's going to be short. And that'll bring up fourth and goal from the four. Ball caught by Ramon Copeland. The redshirt junior out of Chesapeake, Virginia. And now it's decision time for Coach Prunty and the Pirates. Well, you're at home. If, if, if you feel good, if you feel good, do it. If not, take the field goal. And that'll end the first quarter. We will see what the Pirates do coming back. Pirates and Spartan fans, today's game is being streamed live and on demand on Flow Football. With the Flow Football subscription, you can get access to live and archived CAA conference games all season long. Stay up to speed across all sports. With in-depth coverage, behind-the-scenes access, game highlights, and breaking news, visit flowsports.tv slash CAA for schedules and more. That's flowsports.tv slash CAA. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. Not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount, and that's how easy it is. And I did this to my father. We were at home. Four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> This is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. The best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Do the amazing. Help save lives. 
Donate plasma today at CSL Plasma. I can put this together without kicking it once. Just as long as y'all almost 50, I will continue to use young so. <laughs> Welcome inside the black box. So you guys ready to have some fun? Forget the acting studio. I'm here with you guys. Creativity will find its way. It doesn't matter what the ethnicity is. Television and movies are the mediums of stereotypes. Just because we all have the same color don't mean we have the same experience. Your uniqueness is your greatness. Welcome inside the Black Box. Every Monday on Fox Soul. Elon Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams about Elon Musk. And I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. neither one of them can go back and to work. And neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. Hampton University Marching Force, along with the Hampton University Ebony Fire Dance Team and the Sticky Situation Drumline and Silky Flagline, part of the pageantry that you have in HBCU Athletics, particularly in the Battle of the Bay. The Voss fourth and goal from the three. Hampton electing to bring out the field goal unit and get on the board. It'll be Tristan Heaton, the grad student from Humble, Texas. First year with the team. And Eaton, able to send this through, and he has the Pirates on the board. Norfolk State still with a four-point lead early stages of the second quarter. Take the points. You're at home. You know, you're going to get some momentum. You've got the crowd. Yeah, this is a rivalry game, but, you know, break the ice. Uh, your offense is doing well, and you'll get another chance. That, that ball looked like it could have been almost blocked uh, had uh, the defender reached a little bit more, but... The kicker did a good job of getting the ball up quick, high, and through the uprights. You mentioned a rivalry game. Obviously, you've participated in a lot of those, both as a player and a coach. How important it is to get off to a good start. Spartans able to do that. Now the Pirates on the board with some points of their own. Hope that settles their nerves. Well, it gets you into the game. It tells you that you can score against your opposition and hopefully ignites the offense to not just get three at a time, but get six to seven to eight. The question for Hampton coming into the season was how they would replace the production of star wide receiver J.D. Kiss Bonds. He was in camp with the Green Bay Packers earlier this year, did not make their 53-man roster, but last year accounted for 10 touchdowns. That was almost 25% of the Pirates' total touchdowns a year ago. That is a huge loss. You're not going to replace him with one player. It has to be by committee. Well, it, it, and it should be because you don't want to get – in a position where you're just going to one guy where they can bracket him. Right now, you want to spread this field. Eaton with a short kickoff fielded at the 18. And the Spartans with some room. They're going to break this one up across the 45 and up to midfield. Big return, and a flag comes in as well. We will have to get an eye on that. But that was Jordan Cooper, the wide receiver for Norfolk State, Virginia Beach native. It may be a short field for Norfolk State, but we'll have to check. It'll be interesting to see because it looks like... Yeah, the return man grabs the face mask. You can keep your hand open, and they'll allow you 
to push off the face mask. As soon as you grab and you wrap, because it's a safety factor as well for the uh, defender as much as it is the ball carrier. And right there, clearly, the grasping of the face mask is the difference than putting that hand out the stiff arm. 15-yard penalty on the freshman returner. And it brings the Spartans back to their own 35 to start the drive. Still good field position for Coons as Henry. That may have been Muhammad, actually, and that was the big back. Nowhere to go. And you saw Hampton keen on him quickly. Those star linebackers we talked about for the Pirates shooting the gap and number 44 unable to get rumbling. A good job in stopping out the run lanes. The A gap between the center and the guard, the B gap between the guard and the tackle, and then whatever type of tight end, H back or receiver, is that C gap between the tackle and that receiver. No gain for Muhammad. We saw the marching force of Hampton, and there's a Spartan Legion of Norfolk State. It'll swing outside, and it'll be a gain of four, just shy of the 40. For the return man, Cooper trying to make amends for his previous mistake. Well, you got to shake it off. And, and again, you don't know if you're going to have that subjective call brought against you. You're just trying to escape <laughs> the guy that's trying to tackle you on special teams. Third and six, Muhammad as the back for Coons. Should be a free play. And it will be indeed. Coons has a man complete first down. And Norfolk State taking full advantage. Hampton jumping offside. Norfolk State says thank you very much as they find themselves in Pirates territory. Looks like Aaron Moore on the end of that reception. Yeah, Moore has been the man thus far, the senior wide receiver, impressive. Give him his props. They got him listed as grad student. He's got a little sheepskin. <laughs> so, man, you sending me back to class for some, some, some extra credits? That's exactly right. He's earned the degree. Give full credit where credit is due. You know it's tough to get, man. And Henry wrapped up. Coming in to clean things up. You see those defensive backs for Hampton. It is going to bring up a third and long. First to him, though, was Corey Wilson. Kim Sturdivant there, and also in on the tackle, Omar Ibrahim. Tough for some running lanes on that one is the Pirates. Robert Prunty, he's been impressive thus far in his time at Hampton. Fifth year, 22 and 23, his record. And Coons unable to make it back. The original line of scrimmage. That's a good coverage in the secondary. That's the coverage sack because Otto Kuntz tried to step up in the pocket, buy him some more time, shuffle, shuffle up into the pocket, maybe escape up the middle, but the defense of the Pirates closing in. Dawson Odoms looking on, 30 years, the head coach of the Spartans. his time a record of 8 and 15 with Norfolk State 13th year as a head coach overall but a new offensive coordinator Ray Pickering who spent last year as an analyst down in Lone Star State with the University of Texas timeout is taken Spartans down to their final timeout. It'll be third and 12 for Norfolk State when we return. Just a four-point affair in the Battle of the Bay. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags on... Stereotypes are meant to be broken, so let's break them all down. On Fox Soul. They are two for three in third down conversions is Norfolk State thus far, but this is the longest third down they have tried to convert. Can they keep the drive alive? Coons has been impressive, five of six. 
95 yards and a touchdown thus far. Coon steps up, and he's going to throw, has a man. It's Muhammad, the big back from Brooklyn, is going to be short. The safety valve, that'll bring up fourth and about four for Coach Odoms in Norfolk State. Interesting. Let's see if we're going to flip the field. I would do that. Um, I just I think right now you don't want to play around, but it looks like, you know, this is – Maybe nowhere, no no man's land, and so let's see if we can go for it. We're inside of our opponent's 40. I guess that's what you do. Thus far, it has been Muhammad, non guy who can, uh, he's been their preferred back. Five rushes, 19 yards, but Henry back in, and they're going to fake it. Has a man incomplete, turned over on downs, incomplete. coming out of the backfield was Ikeem Wright, the sophomore, and had a chance to keep the drive alive. Well, it looked like the receiver was open, Kit. You just have to put the ball right on. Sometimes you don't want to lead the receiver. Just put it right on him. And right there, you, you had uh, an easy pass made difficult, unfortunately, and a turnover on downs. Boss, you said it. The sophomore tight end was open, but instead turned over on downs, so Pirates... Will take it over at their own 36. First and 10 for Zealous. Again, that trip set so used to seeing as a man complete. And again, it's the tight end. Evan King, the sophomore from Illinois who had the touchdown that was not to be. They called pass interference and there's a man down for the Spartans. R.J. Coles, the star defensive back. And that is not good news. Coles, a lot expected of him. He's the anchor of that secondary, particularly after the transfer last year of some top talent. He's the man that they've been looking for. 63 total tackles a year ago. He's up. Third on the team. He was all MEAC's second team. And that is very good news for Norfolk State that R.J. Coles is able to come off under his own power and hope he can return quickly. He'll be out for a play and hopefully get back on defense. A gain of four on first down. Zealous has a man back to the ground they go and it's back with Elijah Burris. Burris continues to chew up yards. A first down for the Pirates. I'll tell you. Nice run between the tackles and just use the vision. So Burris able to bring it back into Spartans territory. 14 big ones. 14 yards on the carry. Play action, Zealous looking for a hit downfield. Has a man incomplete. But there is a flag down on the play. Thought he had Paul Woods. Well, he had Paul Woods. Paul Woods, again, the most important part of a catch, kid is at the end of the play. You got to secure it and then maintain possession all the way to the ground. And right there. And that is indeed going to go against Kevin King. Take another look. Good air under this ball. And you just got to extend, and you just got to really, really want to make that catch. And right there, you know, pass interference call, but really good defense at the end of this pass, as you see on the replay. Or at least we're looking at the replay here. We'll see if the Pirates would like to go back to the ground, and they will with Burris. Burris. Wrapped up, no, able to get free somehow. Turns nothing into something, a positive gain when it appeared that he was going to be hit for a loss. Burris, six carries, 85 yards. He is averaging almost 14 yards a touch. You can't argue with that. And that is part of that loot and plunder. You know, run and pass, pass and run. And right there. The run showing up, not 
for 14, but it keeps the defense honest now. Chris Zellis has a chance to now either play action or keep it for himself. Second and nine. And coming in this time, Butts. But to the air, has a man wide open, complete, and able to get across, waiting for the signal. There it is, touchdown Pirates. TK Payzant, the sophomore tight end. That's a big target, and you just have the seam route by the tight end, virtually uncovered. And that's just pick and choose, and a zip pass to the big tight end, as you mentioned, and then, that weight room, getting that ball across, as the defenders from Norfolk State converge on the tight end at the goal line. Eaton to attempt the point after. And put Hampton ahead by three. Well, let's take another look. It certainly appeared Paysant was able to get across the big 6'5", 265 pound. Red shirt sophomore tight end from Carboro, North Carolina. Last week against Grambling, he led the Pirates. Two catches for 47 yards and a touchdown. And keep an eye on that knee. We'll see if it goes down before he's able to stretch across. And that's a great effort. And I think the ball does get across the goal line before uh, the knee touches, but it's going to be a bang-bang call, and it's under review. We can at least say this. Hampton's ball, at least first and goal or a touchdown from inside the two. Mentioned Hampton, the star running back duo of Elijah Burris, Aaron Butts, but have impressive pass catchers as well. Seen Paul Woods, and what a pair of tight ends, tight ends they have in Paysant and King. Yeah, you know, Big targets can catch the ball, use their hands. That's what's the a good, impressive part about what I've seen about those two pass catchers. They don't play it off the pads. They go ahead and grab the ball and then possess it and tuck it away so you don't get that cardinal sin of a fumble. Hampton, four and seven a year ago, but already. Off to a better start is the touchdown stand, says our referee. And the Pirates able to get across Paysant, and the fans clad in blue here at Armstrong Stadium. A lot to cheer about. Again, trying to make it two in a row over the Spartans, something they have not done since 2012-2013 against their bitter arch rivals from across the bay. Yeah, it's great. The proximity, uh, the fact that you can probably boat over. <laughs> That's how you got that. That's how you would show up. I know you well enough. You know people. And no good. Heaton unable to tack on the point after. So it'll say a two-point Pirates lead. Hampton leading nine to seven. Just under nine minutes remaining in the first half. Jackie's breaking of the color barrier is the greatest moment in the history of baseball. The Rising, celebrating black athletes. I heard that he was picked. I said, there's no looking back. We're in. In sport and beyond. A lot of people kind of use this analogy to talk about Black Lives Matter as a movement. When you're black, it's not a movement. It's a lifestyle. Back-to-back -back episodes every Wednesday. This should be no stereotypes, you know. Stereotypes are meant to be broken. So let's break them all down. On Fox Soul. Elon Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams about <laughs> Elon Musk. And I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. And neither one of them can go back and to work. And neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. Welcome inside the black box. So you guys ready to have some fun? Forget the acting studio. I'm here with you guys. Creativity will find its way. It doesn't matter what the ethnicity is. Television and movies are the mediums of stereotypes. Just because we all have the same color don't mean we have the same experience. Your uniqueness is your greatness. Welcome inside the black box. 
Every Monday on Fox Soul. TGIF. Kavaliza says, happy birthday, Q. Welcome to the 40 Club. Live and interactive. Thank you guys so much for the love, the well wishes. I am gladly accepting $40 donations. And for where's the $40 birthday. going? To feed the children. It's a charity <laughs> foundation. <laughs> Cherry Hunt said, you old now, baby. <laughs> On Fox Soul. You can't be using that young and supple anymore. Oh, Chachi, just as long as y'all almost 60, I will continue to use young and supple. <laughs> <laughs> Hampton on top, 9-7, to seven, courtesy of a TK Paysan 28-yard touchdown. Pirates are able to add the extra point. 8.54 remaining in the first half as we head back down to check in with Shaylin. Hello, you all. Joining me on the sideline is athletic director here at Hampton University, Anthony Anderson. Second season, but he's still in his first year. Can you talk about the changes you've made, some restructuring internally to the department, as well as implementing some new initiatives, but you seem to have definitely hit the ground running here as a pirate. Well, yeah, um, being an alum, kind of having an idea of what was needed uh, before I got here, it, it was it was kind of easy to put a plan together. So, you know, we came in, we restructured the department. We knew there was, there was a need to kind of emphasize some of the areas that we were deficient. Um, so we restructured our external relations. We restructured our internal relations, um, bolstered our compliance, bolstered our academics, just because we knew all that was important. Uh, you know, we, we've added some initiatives. We just opened the, the Town Bank Club, our premium seating here, uh, this game. Uh, and and we, have, we have more to come. So there, there are a lot of things that are coming on the horizon as well. You mentioned something that kind of lead me to my next question. As a Pirate alum, talk about how special this moment is to lead your school. Um, you know, so, it's, sometimes it feels surreal. You know, especially like today, being on the sideline, having played out here on the field, um, being a former football player, Having my teammates that are actually here on the sideline, um, you know, it's, it's fun. It's fun. You know, I've been in this business for about 20-plus years and worked at different institutions, but this job is different. It's, it's personal. Um, you know, the things that we do here, I, I can relate to because I sat in their seat. So anytime we make decisions or anything that we do around the department, the first thing we do is think about how it affects student-athletes. So, um when we do that, I think about myself and, and how we react to that. So it, it helps, definitely. Awesome. Well, I don't want to hold you up. Action's going on back there, but thank you for joining us, and go Pirates. So offsetting penalties there, and we will replay the kickoff. And that brings what would have been a huge return from Jalen White, the redshirt sophomore from Hampton, Virginia. I think he has a little bit at stake in this game. He brought that one up almost to midfield. We'll see if he gets another crack at it here. Two good returns uh, by the Spartans, negated by penalties. They're trying to flip the field every chance they get, especially uh, when it comes to returning kicks, which means that there's good blocking out there. But right now on this play, unfortunately, the blocking was to their detriment. Tristan Eaton will get a, another crack at it. Again, the grad student transfer from Henderson State University, a Division II school in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. Young man originally from the greater Houston area. The 64th meeting between these two schools. The last 10, they've split 5-5. Five and five. But Norfolk State, they have won four of the last six meetings, including the last three here at Armstrong Stadium. And they trail by two, looking for another big return. Field it. Heels on the goal line. Up to the 15 and will be brought down. They will mark him at the 20. Not nearly the return White was hoping for on his second attempt. Well, you know, you bring the ball up to the 20, it's almost as if you were doing a, a touchback. It's five yards difference, but you give your explosive player an opportunity for an explosive play. So, you, as long as you possess the ball, I have no issue with trying to get all you can on a return. Well, Foss thus far, Otto Coons, he's been impressive through the air. Six of eight, 103 yards, one touchdown. But on the ground, it's been a different story. Spartans just 23 yards rushing thus far. Most of that has come from Muhammad Nagumakina. Coons again takes to the air, has a man, couldn't link up. Well defended. And Jordan White making sure that receiver didn't get any room. He was looking 
trying to find Jordan Wandy. Winodi there had a step, but not enough separation. No, but that miss may be a signal to Hampton's defense. We're going to fire away even on our own 20. And I almost thought there's going to be a penalty. Looked like. Second and 10, little quick hitter underneath. That is complete to Aaron Moore. Moore, a good gain. It'll bring up third and manageable. Aaron Moore looking for a horse collar. You know, when you tackle around the head in, in uh, over time, the safety factor on plays around the head and neck. So third and a long four. And it's going to be first down. Going to the other side, able to find a man. Nolan James on the reception. James, he can play quarterback as well. A multi-talented young player, keeps the drive alive. First down, Spartans at their own 40. And he too from Hampton. I said a lot of these young men played with and against each other in high school. They know each other. Their families know each other. I'm not going to go so far as to say they're friends. Certainly not tonight if you're clad in green or blue. You may be friends the rest of the year, right. but when the Battle of the Bay comes around. That's not the case. Muhammad there. Again, finding it tough sledding against that. Front seven for the Pirates. Coons, plenty of time, tucks it. He's going to rumble forward up across the 45 to the 47. Coons has good size, 6'4", just shy of 200 for the junior from Carroll, Ohio. I don't know how many big shots they want him taking. None. <laughs> if you don't have to. Third and four. Spartans three of five in third down conversions tonight. Coons has a man down the sideline and it's intercepted, picked off by the Pirates. Able to get his head around. What a play. Byron Perkins with the interception. It'll be Hampton ball when we return to the first turnover of the night. Perkins with the INT and Zealous. Elon Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams about Elon Musk, and I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. neither one of them can go back and to work. neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. TGIF. I believe it says happy birthday, Q. Welcome to the 40 Club. Live and interactive. Thank you guys so much for the love, the well wishes. I am gladly accepting $40 donations. And for where's the $40 going? To feed the children. It's a charity foundation. <laughs> Cherry Hunt said you old now, baby. <laughs> On Fox Soul. He can't be using that young and supple anymore. Oh, Chachi, just as long as y'all almost 50, I will continue to use young and supple. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome inside the black box. So you guys ready to have some fun? Forget the acting studio. I'm here with you guys. Creativity will find its way. It doesn't matter what the ethnicity is. Television and movies are the mediums of stereotypes. Just because we all have the same color don't mean we have the same experience. Your uniqueness is your greatness. Welcome inside the black box. Every Tuesday night on Fox Soul. Jackie's breaking of the color barrier is the greatest moment in the history of baseball. The rising, celebrating black athletes. I heard that he was picked. I said, there's no looking back. We're in. In sport and beyond. 
A lot of people kind of use this analogy to about Black Lives Matter as a movement. When you're black, it's not a movement. It's a lifestyle. Back to back episodes every Wednesday. There should be no stereotypes, you know? Stereotypes are meant to be broken. So let's break them all down. On Fox Soul. Boss, all season, we will bring you the best in HBCU football, bcsbn.com. The excitement, the pageantry, the fans, and the bands, everything you need to keep up to date. Eight more weeks after today. Man, I cannot wait. It is going to be a fantastic football season riding shotgun with you, my friend. Well, I appreciate it. Excited. Football season is here, and the matchups, the rivalries, people competing for championships, it's awesome. It is indeed the Battle of the Bay, one of the biggest rivalries in HBCU athletics. As Byron Perkins with the interception, first turnover of the game. Coons throws the pick, and now Zealous back out on the field. A very no gain there. Trying to get back to the original line of scrimmage was Butts. Here's the interception, Coons. He was not set. He threw it off the side. He was trying to find his wide receiver looking for Nolan James. And Perkins just read it perfectly, did a fantastic job, did the grad student transfer from Purdue. Well, it's anybody's ball. And the play was made by the Pirates and not the Spartans. It'll be a loss of two on Butts' rush. So here comes Zealous stepping up. He's going to pick up the two and a few more. That'll bring up third and eight after the gain of four. Rice, Wilson, and Long combining for the stop. Yeah, not much there, but it looked like it may be promising to kind of slide out the side door on the left side of the offensive line. But the Spartans close quickly for third and long. Third and long. Pirates just one for four in third down conversions tonight. Empty backfield. Zealous takes to the air, and that is knocked away. Threw it into traffic, and maybe lucky it wasn't intercepted. Trying to make a play on it was Devin Allen. Well, that was an interesting route pattern because you seem to have two receivers in the same area you don't want that that advantage defense because you're bringing at least one guy who's looking back into the backfield and right there this ball still probably could have been caught uh, nonetheless the punt unit on for the Hampton Pirates they are indeed they will have to punt it away yet again And here comes the pressure. Tristan Heaton not getting the distance there. That is not even going to make it up to the 40. It'll be out of bounds at the 38, and it is going to be a very short field for the Spartans when we return. 441 remaining in the half. Norfolk State, a short field, and looking to retake the lead. Welcome inside the black box. So you guys ready to have some fun? Forget the hacking studio. I'm here with you guys. Creativity will find its way. It doesn't matter what the ethnicity is. Television and movies are the mediums of stereotypes. Just because we all have the same color don't mean we have the same experience. Your uniqueness is your greatness. Welcome inside the black box. Every Monday on Fox Soul. Elon Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams about <laughs> Elon Musk. And I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. And neither one of them can go back and to work. And neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. Jackie's breaking of the color barrier is the greatest moment in the history of baseball. The Rising, celebrating black athletes. I heard that he was picked. I said, there's no looking back. We're in. In sport and beyond. A lot of people kind of use this analogy to talk about Black Lives Matter as a movement. When you're black, it's not a movement. It's a lifestyle. Back-to-back -back episodes every Wednesday. There should be no stereotypes, you know? Stereotypes are meant to be broken. So let's break them all down. On Fox Soul. T-G-I-N. I 
Holiza says, happy birthday, Q. Welcome to the 40 Club. Live and interactive. Thank you guys so much for the love, the well wishes. I am gladly accepting $40 donations. And where's the $40 going? To feed the children. It's a charity <laughs> foundation. <laughs> Cherry Hunt said, you old now, baby. <laughs> On Fox Soul. You can't be using that young and supple anymore. Oh, Chachi, just as long as y'all almost 60, I will continue to use young and supple. <laughs> <laughs> A short field indeed after just a 21-yard punt from Tristan Eaton for Hampton. The Otto Coons and the Spartans just 38 yards. They look to retake the lead before halftime. They struck first. And then Hampton, all nine points in the second quarter have been for the Pirates. It's going to be a first down, a gain of 11. Evans. Evans that time on the carry. So switching things up. We've seen Muhammad. We've seen Henry. And that time, Xavion Evans, the junior from Chesapeake, with his first carry. Well, however you can get the rushing, four different rushers for the Spartans. And that a good pickup. Evans will remain in as the running back. And again, Evans will get it, trying to pick his way through. He does across the 20. Evans still on his feet, down to the five. And they are going to mark him at the one-yard line. Xavier Evans showing out in its first and goal Spartans. Well, some good more is better. than 11 on the first one. Great stiff arm. Looking to see where the defenders are coming from. Keeping that ball high and tight. That's not to commit the cardinal sin of putting that ball on the turf. Now Muhammad in, he'll take it, buries his head, and he's in for the touchdown. Spartans back on its top. Three plays, 38 yards, all on the ground. This is Sparta! And the Spartans going all on the ground as you mentioned just old school football smash mouth off tackle after an 11 and a 25 yard pickup crashing over the left side for Pater the PAT up and through but there is a flag down we will see Graydon Wilcox thought he had added the extra Boss, you said it. Evans, two rushes, 36 yards. And then the big man from Brooklyn, Mohamed Nagamokina, took it in from two yards out. Well, as the song goes, Brooklyn's in the house. And uh, also in the end zone kit. The point after is good, and it's a five-point Spartans lead, 14-9, 3-29 remaining in the first half in the back-and-forth Battle of the Bay. Muhammad Nagamakina just lowers his head, and why not when you're 6'2", 240 pounds, would not be denied from two yards out. That's the most simple, basic offensive play. You've run it since youth football. I think most of the carries that you've had from two yards out have been very similar to that. You end up with five points, excuse me, six as the result there. And Wilcox will kick things back off. And now Hampton, Coach Prunty, will see how they respond. Zealous just five of eight, has 110 yards passing, one touchdown. We'll see if they go back to the well that is their star running back, Elijah Burris. Why not? Burris already 85 yards on seven attempts. That's over 12 yards a carry. And if you have a running back averaging 12 yards a touch, Foss, I think I'd give him the rock. All day. <laughs> and you're right, especially keeping that loot and plunder that balanced attack with the CAA player of the week quarterback 
Krizelis, also a playmaker in his own right. Responsible for four touchdowns last week in the win against Grambling. Uh, two passing, two rushing. He was the MVP of the Brick City Classic, and he will keep it here. He's hit hard as he makes it to the 35. I think he may have lost his shoe for a second penalty, though. And that is not what they were hoping for. The holding, the 10-yard penalty going against Juan Price, the big freshman offensive lineman out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Well, this backs him up, Kit. First and 20. So you don't have to get it all back here on one play. Let's make it second and manageable if you're the Pirates. Zealous and hit immediately. Made the catch, able to hold on somehow. Was Ramon Copeland, but flying in, Joseph White. He absolutely tattooed him. Well, this ball's thrown high, and kudos to the receiver to go up and get that ball, but that's definitely what you don't want to do to your receiver all evening any of them but a great pitch and catch nonetheless white the transfer last year from virginia making his presence known another hit across the middle able to hold on but cameron lewis lowered the boom dorian moultrie and that's two times that the wide receiver <laughs> have been heroes because they have taken tremendous shots after the catch, and they have not lost possession of the ball to the ground. And that's the most important part of the catch. Moultrie picks up the first down. Again, Zellis to the air. Another reception down the middle as a man. And that's Paul Woods, his favorite target. Agent Zero. And that's a great catch. Good coverage, kid. But that ball thrown where the best opportunity is only for the receiver. And of course, the wide receiver D-back jawing, it never ends. Woods, the Buffalo, New York native, Rutgers transfer, Zealous keeps it, tucks it, and he will pick up two, but hit in the hole. Zealous slow to get back to his feet. Well, here comes Hampton with a minute 10 left. Rolling. Second and a long seven. First, it is the running back. Two timeouts remaining for the Pirates. Zellis again takes to the air, has a man down the seam, and this is intercepted, batted away. Did he come down with it? That's Cameron Lewis. We saw the big stick from the defensive back, and he comes away with the interception here. Well, this is the tip drill. And this is why if you don't catch the ball as a receiver, things can go bad for you. But this ball was contested at the point of the catch. A great job in the secondary for Norfolk State. The redshirt sophomore out of Woodbridge, Virginia. I'm sure they're going to take a look at this. You would imagine they will. But just when Hampton was driving, they had all the momentum. Everything going their way. Zealous putting on a show. Saw some great receptions from his wide receivers, including the last one from Paul Woods. That final pass knocked away, and Cameron Lewis comes down with the INT. It's going to be Norfolk State ball, 49 seconds remaining. But they have to go 97 yards. Well, And as you so correctly predicted, there is the further review of the interception from Mr. Lewis, Cameron Lewis. Well, as we take another look, Norfolk State just one timeout remaining. And this ball put in a pretty good place to go up and get it, but the contesting of the defense in the secondary gives an, uh, yeah, I think this ball is definitely intercepted, Kit. 
And I guess that could be a, another reason to go. This is Sparta as they take the ball away from the Pirates. And uh, great secondary help is all you can say. And couldn't have been drawn up any better in the defensive secondary. Cameron Lewis, the redshirt soft, sophomore, we as give, you mentioned. Yeah, I give credit to Robert Rim as well, the grad student, the transfer from Southern, yes. the Ocala, Florida native. He was the man who knocked that pass away, made it possible for Lewis to come down with the interception. And you'd certainly imagine it looks to you and I both. He was able to get two hands underneath it, had control. Right. Well, you got to get the hands underneath. That's the important thing. And then possess it all the way to the ground through the catch, whether you're on offense or defense. We will see if that is indeed the case. Henry Wimberg saw the same thing that we did. The ruling on the field stands. Interception at Norfolk State. And they bring a halt to the Pirates' drive. Now a chance to extend their five-point lead with 49 seconds remaining in the half. Paul, you and I were talking earlier this week, and you know about these rivalry games. You can look at all the stats. Who won last year? Who's won the past five? Who's won the past 63, if you want? <laughs> right. Doesn't matter. It's right now. You can throw it all out out the window. It is all about today and what is going to happen as Coons trying to find himself a little breathing room there. And all you really wanted to do is ensure yourself, at a minimum, you don't take a safety, especially after a takeaway. It appears Norfolk State will be content to go ahead and wrap up this first half, keep this five-point lead intact, and why not? Hampton had the opportunity. They were marching down the field. It looks like at the very least they were going to have the opportunity for a field goal. Correct. But Mr. Perkins. The offense giveth, and sometimes the offense has it taken away. And Byron Perkins had the interception, made it all possible for Hampton. Right. And then his counterpart, the defensive back on the other side, Mr. Lewis, says, I see you, and I can do that as well. Absolutely. And that will bring the first half to a close, the 64th Battle of the Bay. And it's a five-point game at half. Norfolk State leading Hampton 14-9. to Stick with us on BCSBN. Our halftime coverage continues. Are you tired of seeing money all around the house? Then start saving money with First American Home Warranty. First American covers the systems and appliances you depend on every day. And if we can't repair your covered item, we'll replace it. I've saved thousands, and that makes me happy. All plans include a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee and flexible payment options so you can never pay for covered repairs again. Call 1-800-395-5945. That's 800-395-5945. My dad's name was David. He always talked about getting life insurance, and now it's too late. Don't be Dave, and don't wait until it's too late to get the life insurance coverage you need. If you're over 50, you can't be turned down for this insurance. There's no medical exam, no health questions. Your rate will never go up. Your coverage will never go down, and rates start as low as $5 a week. 800-540-0299. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. Not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount, and that's how easy it is. And I did this to my father. We were at home, four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen.
every Monday on Fox Soul. Elon Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams about <laughs> Elon Musk. And I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. neither one of them can go back and to work. neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. T-G-I-F. Kavaliza says, happy birthday, Q. Welcome to the 40 Club. Live and interactive. Thank you guys so much for the love, the well wishes. I am gladly accepting $40 donations. And where's the $40 going? To feed the children. It's a charity foundation. (laughs) (laughs) Cherry Hunt said, you old now, baby. (laughs) On Fox Soul. You can't be using that young and supple anymore. Oh, Chachi, just as long as y'all are almost 60, I will continue to use young and supple. Sixty-fourth annual Battle of the Bays. You get a live look at the Battle of the Bands at halftime. Hampton and Norfolk State. Norfolk State leading fourteen to nine at half. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. And Net Figaro is here to tell us why she says. This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. Not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount, and that's how easy it is. And I did this to my father. We were at home, four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. (laughs) This is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. 
Feels great. Looks even better. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. When you join Metro, there's nada yada yada. No contracts, no price hikes, and no surprises. Church's Texas Size Grande Meal. More joy, starting at only 30 bucks. Around here, people aren't afraid of hard work, and we don't quit till the job is done. For over 100 years, Long Lewis has partnered with Alabama to provide honest value. Our best price, up front, every time. No dealer fees ever. Even a money-back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied. That's how we became the largest dealer in Alabama and number one in customer satisfaction in the nation. Because in the long run, it's Long Lewis. Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams <laughs> about Elon Musk, and I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. neither one of them can go back and to work. neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. T-G-I-F. Kavaliza says, happy birthday, Q. Welcome to the 40 Club. Live and interactive. Thank you guys so much for the love, the well wishes. I am gladly accepting $40 donations. And where's the $40 birthday. going? To feed the children. It's a charity foundation. <laughs> Cherry Hunt said, you old now, baby. <laughs> On Fox Soul. You can't be using that young and supple anymore. Oh, Chachi, just as long as y'all almost 60, I will continue to use young and supple. <laughs> Welcome back here on BCSBN, our Capital One Halftime Show, as we turn you over to Dr. Thomas L. Jones, Jr., the Director of Bands in the Hampton University Marching Force.
Hampton University Marching Force alongside the Ebony Fire Dance Team, the Sticky Situation Drum Line, and Silky Flag Line here at halftime in the Battle of the Bay. Norfolk State leads Hampton 14 to 9. Stick with us, second half. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. Not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount, and that's how easy it is. And I did this to my father. We were at home, four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Bienvenidos al mundo de Spectrum One, donde cada día más personas disfrutan de una experiencia única, con una conexión fluida donde quiera que estés. Obtén internet de 300 megas por $49.99 al mes con Wi-Fi avanzado gratis y una línea de móvil ilimitado gratis. With got to be metallics, I don't just stand out, I shine. Pastel or bold, I decide. Got to be has something no jelly. Removes your wig and protects your hair. Try new Poise Overnight Pads with a 75% wider back for worry-free sleep. Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams <laughs> about Elon Musk. And I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. And neither one of them can go back and to work. And neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. T-G-I-N. Kavaliza says, happy birthday, Q. Welcome to the 40 Club. Live and interactive. Thank you guys so much for the love, the well wishes. I am gladly accepting $40 donations. And for where's the $40 birthday. going? To feed the children. It's a charity <laughs> foundation. <laughs> Cherry Hunt said, you old now, baby. <laughs> On Fox Soul. You can't be using that young and supple anymore. Oh, Chachi, just as long as y'all almost 60, I will continue to use young and supple. <laughs> Welcome back from BCSPN, the Capital One Halftime Show. It is the Battle of the Bay, and it's the Battle of the Bands. Hampton University Marching Force putting on a show, as did Norfolk State University Spartan Legion before them. Voss, take a look at our first half highlights. Norfolk State had the early lead. They found the first touchdown. Otto Coons out of the backfield, a little 41-yard slip screen set things up. And the Spartans were able to take the lead seven to nothing in the first quarter. Yeah, a quick, quick pass out to Moore for 41 yards in the touchdown. And then here come the Pirates. And the Pirates are able to come back, as you said, in the second quarter. It was seven to nothing, Norfolk State to start the second quarter. But Hampton, it took them some time, but. Their star running back, Elijah Burris, led the way in the first half, 85 yards on seven carries. Yeah, they got three from that, and then a 28-yard touchdown pass. And then, with a lot of running and three quick plays, uh, Norfolk State comes back. They score again. It's 14-9. And then, at the towards the end of the half, a takeaway by the Spartans in the secondary. And they turn away the Pirates. 14 to nine and a half. Yeah, just when it looked like Hampton was going to find a touchdown, Cameron Lewis came away with the interception with 46 seconds remaining in the half, and it stays a five-point Spartans lead. Hampton, just one of five in third down conversions in the first half. You take a look 
at those yards right there. Hampton above 100 in rush yards and pass yards. 11 first downs, but just one of five. You have to convert, have to keep the drive alive. That has been an issue. That's absolutely the difference right there. And then the turnovers. You, you had a turnover inside your opponent's red zone. At the half, you could have got three. That could have been 12. You could have got six to seven. That could have put you ahead at halftime at home. Also of note, Hampton, five penalties for 36 yards and some big penalties by the Pirates in the first half. Yeah, you know, again, that either gives your opponent another opportunity or takes one or more away from you. All that combines into minus five on the scoreboard. All to play for in the Battle of the Bay. It's going to be a great second half. Let's head down to the sideline to check in with Shaylin. Hello, guys. I'm here at the half with Coach Dawson. His Spartan team is up 14 and I. Coach, what was your game plan coming into this game and to bounce back off of last weekend? Well, the biggest thing is just execute. Uh, we felt like if, if we do that, we'll give ourselves a chance and we challenge our team. And first half, uh, they did a good job of it, but we got to play a lot better in the second half. Speaking of the second half, and let's talk about defense and that play that kind of stopped the Pirates when they were looking to score right, right as the half was winding down. Talk about your defensive play tonight. Well, you know, turnovers were huge. We were going in and we turned it over, and that put us behind in the turnover battle. But uh, we got one on the other end, now we're back even, and uh, you just got to play hard. Just keep playing the next play, keep challenging yourself to do that. Everything else will take care of itself. From an offensive perspective, everyone came in tonight talking about how the Pirates' ground attack would be. But you all are running the ball pretty well, that 41-yard pass. A balanced offense we're seeing here. Talk about it, and what's, what are you going to do in the second half to make sure you come away with this win? Well, just execute. I think uh, we talk about two words in our program that is all part of the process. we got to play with great discipline, and we got to execute. And if we do that, uh, effort to take care of itself. I never question the effort of these young men, but... Uh, first half effort was great, but we got to go to another level. But we cannot lower the bar when it comes to execute. Awesome. Well, best of luck, Coach. Have a great second half. Thank you, Thank you Shaylin. There alongside Norfolk State University head coach is Austin Adams, third year in charge of the Spartans. He has had a different offensive coordinator every year, including this year, as now Ray Pickering has taken over in his first Division I coordinator gig. Has some experience. He was a big-time coach in the Mississippi high school ranks. He was at Lane at Division II College in Tennessee and spent last year as an offensive analyst at Texas. But it wasn't the offense so much as the defense this year coming in for the Spartans. They gave up over 40 points a game last year. They've got more rushing yards, passing yards, and total yards than any team in the MEAC. They knew they had to clean things up defensively. Absolutely. And, again, that's effort. You know, that's not all talent. You know, it's, it's not fun, but if you're a football player, it's a lot of fun because it allows you to do what this game is set up to do, and that's create impact, collisions, and a lot of fun for a team that brings that type of momentum and play to a football field. And, Foss, you said it in your keys. They have to be road warriors to the Spartans. Seven of their games on the road this year. They will never play back-to-back -back games at Dick Price Stadium. This is the shortest distance they will travel to play an away game, just as 15 miles across the HRBT tunnel. They will travel up to 700 miles when they head to Nashville to take on Tennessee State on October the 14th. Yeah, you know, again, you have to be confident in what can cash and carry, as I said. And defense always can cash and carry. You can count on it if you have one that is being consistent. And that's what you'll need to get more wins than losses in any football season. Yeah, they get to play that game against Tennessee State in Nissan Stadium, home of the Tennessee Titans. Next week, they play Temple, the Owls, for the first time ever in program history. They get to play that one at the link, home of the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, and that's a, it's a pretty fun stadium. You know, I've uh, seen that complex. Used to be uh, the old Spectrum. Now they've got the new uh, basketball facility there. You've got Citizens Bank, and then you have, like, Lincoln Financial right there. Everything in Philly all in a complex it's a big time stadium and temple plays big time football yeah hampton they will take on rival howard in the truth and service classic at audi stadium in washington dc next week but neither team looking ahead it is all about the battle of the bay the 64th edition just 15 miles separate these two and this is bragging rights not for today not for this week not for this month it is bragging rights for the entire year oh absolutely this is you know, seasonal. And then after these guys finish their careers, they still know that 
Hey, we got you in this season. Hey, we got you in that season. Hey, I did this. We did that. Especially over the Thanksgiving and Christmas breaks, look out. These are the kind of games that 20 years from now you see somebody and you, uh, you remember that game in 2023 when <laughs> we beat you? Yeah, those are the games that you'll be bringing up for the rest of your life as we're ready to get the second half underway. Hampton ready to kick things off. And that's Brian Sahoski, the redshirt freshman out of Aldi, Virginia, who will take the kickoff here. Not Tristan Heaton. And he booms this one into the end zone for a touchback. Interesting adjustment. You know, but you don't want the returns. We saw good returns, even though uh, a couple were brought back due to uh, an offensive face mask and then offsetting penalties that forced a re-kick. However, if you can kick the ball into the end zone deep enough, you'll get no return from Norfolk State and the Spartans. Here's Otto Coons, comes back out, does the junior quarterback. Last year, transferred from Eastern Illinois. This is his second year with the Spartans after starting nine games a year ago. Eight for 12, 123 yards, a touchdown and an interception in the first half. Also has three rushes for eight yards as he will hand this one off to the big back. And there goes Muhammad showing some nimble feet as he's going to pick up a gain of seven on first down. He had that touchdown there, Muhammad. Naga McKenna, all 240 pounds of him. He is a load to bring down. Absolutely is, especially when he squares his shoulder pads to the line scrimmage. Here comes Muhammad again. This time he will be bottled up a short gain, but it's going to bring up third and very short third and one for the Spartans. Yeah, you, you make yourself as wide as possible across the front, get the low center of gravity, and we do squats and all types of leg exercises to get the drive when you get into a pile like that, and you just want to follow your blockers and those offensive linemen doing the same thing. I can assure you what we've seen from Mr. Namu McKenna, he is not missing leg day in the gym. No, he isn't, and he shouldn't, especially running between the tackles. Third and one, another handoff to 44, and he's going to get across the first down to move the chains up to the 37. Well, that's what you want. And then you can switch out rushers, and we've seen both teams do this. It'll be so, Xavion Evans coming on. Evans, actually the leading rusher in the first half for the Spartans, yeah. had 36 yards on two carries. Set up the touchdown for the aforementioned. Yeah, those three combined three plays, I should say. But it was Evans doing the dirty work as he spins around a short gain before he's finally brought down. And on the tackle was Omar Ibrahim, the quarterback, coming up to make the stop. Most likely a hold. Well, there you go. They... <laughs> Unfortunately, you were exactly right. Unfortunately, I should say, if you're a Norfolk State fan, the hold that time on Vincent Bird Jr., the big sophomore lineman out of Colonial Forge High School. Well, it happens, they say, on every play. I don't believe that. I will never believe that as an offensive. This is coming from a former running back. <laughs> Absolutely. We don't hold on every play. Give me a break. Well, what was... First down now is back to second and 10 as Coons drops back. He's flushed out of the pocket, directing traffic as he crosses the 25 up across the 30 and out of bounds, just shy of the 35. He's getting some of the yardage back due to the holding penalty. You know, sometimes it's, there's no need to throw the ball away if you can break contain, meaning get outside of the defense, and then get some cheap yards, even if it's six Seven yards out of that 10, it's now second and manageable. They gave him five, but it beats throwing the ball away and still having second and 20. It was first and 20, picks up five yards, and as you said, second and manageable, pick up another chunk here, and you have third and manageable to keep the drive alive. Trip receivers to the top. Little quick pass out, able to get away, and up across the 40, it's going to be a gain of seven. And there's that third and manageable that they were looking for. 
Hooper on the reception for the Spartans. Jordan Cooper, the freshman from Virginia Beach. Saw him with a big return and called back in the first half. Right. Certainly has speed. So what does Coach Dawson Odoms elect to do here? Xavion Evans in as the running back. Well, what you want to do is uh, you're going to have to maybe call a timeout because the play clock out. That's what was concerning me. You were wondering about the play. I'm worried about not getting five yards tacked on to third and uh, somewhat manageable. Norfolk State takes their first time out of the half. We'll take it with them. Third and seven for the Spartans when we return. 11-01 remaining in the third. Spartans on top by five. Are you tired of seeing money all around the house? Then start saving money with First American Home Warranty. First American covers the systems and appliances you depend on every day. And if we can't repair your covered item, we'll replace it. I've saved thousands, and that makes me happy. All plans include a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee and flexible payment options so you can never pay for covered repairs again. Call 1-800-395-5945. That's 800-395-5945. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. Not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount, and that's how easy it is. And I did this to my father. We were at home, four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. My dad's name was David. He always talked about getting life insurance, and now it's too late. Don't be Dave, and don't wait until it's too late to get the life insurance coverage you need. If you're over 50, you can't be turned down for this insurance. There's no medical exam, no health questions. Your rate will never go up. Your coverage will never go down. And rates start as low as $5 a week. 800-540-0299. Drive alive. They are four of seven in third down conversions tonight. First drive of the second half. Norfolk State. As Coons drops back, has a man on the near side. That is caught, but it will not be enough for the first down. There in immediately with the tackle was Omar Ibrahim closing quickly in no room for Aaron Moore to get free. You're absolutely right, Kenton. Good closing speed on that pass, not allowing the receiver to get loose and pick up the yards after the catch. Ibrahim has been impressive in pass coverage and coming into the box as a run stopper for the Garden State native. This Coach Odom Spartans forced to punt it away. Graydon Wilcox booms this one. It will go inside the 20, takes a Norfolk State bounce, and it'll be Hampton ball at their own 19. A good kick there, able to flip the field. As Zealous and that Pirates offense back out on the field. Zealous, 8 of 12, 159 yards through the air. One touchdown, one interception. Also, five rushes for 15 yards. Well, it's time for Hampton to turn it up a little bit now. They did that last week against Grambling. They were back and forth. Grambling actually was the team that struck first, but then this is batted down at the line. Hampton was able to pick things up as that game went along. As they came away with a victory there, the inaugural Brick City Classic. And 
fantastic work at the line, just able to get a hands up. And that's what you teach your lineman to do. If you can't get to the quarterback, you see he's going to throw, get up and knock it down. Absolutely. Second and 10. Zealous, plenty of time, nice pocket, has a man, and it is not linking up. That pass intended for Armand Vincent. Vincent is looking to the inside, the pass to the out. And I think that's the only place you could have put that football, but the adjustment has to be made by the wide receiver when the ball's in the air. So third and 10. Hampton in danger of going three and out. Not picked up a yard on this drive. That would give Norfolk State great field position, you would imagine. Spartans careful with theirs. Dalen Long almost jumping <laughs> offside. They'll rush four, incomplete, and never looking up. He was trying to find his tight end, TK Payson. Payson. Didn't think that pass was coming his way. No, he didn't. He was still coming across the field. That ball thrown behind him. And that was opportunity for a possible interception. Oh, yeah. It was no indeed. <laughs> Pace on able to get his head around in time, but couldn't make a play on it. And now Hampton, with their least productive drive of the night, will have to punt it away. They have not picked up a yard in this drive. Surprising. Tristan Heaton. Back to punt this. It'll be fair caught at the 40. Good field position for the Spartans. There's Tremaine Tolbert. There it takes the fair catch. Norfolk State be looking to extend the lead. Their second possession of half number two. When we return. Welcome inside the black box. So you guys ready to have some fun? Forget the acting studio. I'm here with you guys. Creativity will find its way. It doesn't matter what the ethnicity is. Television and movies are the mediums of stereotypes. Just because we all have the same color don't mean we have the same experience. Your uniqueness is your greatness. Welcome inside the black box. Every Monday on Fox Soul. Jackie's breaking of the color barrier is the greatest moment in the history of baseball. The rising, celebrating black athletes. I heard that he was picked. I said, there's no looking back. We're in. In sport and beyond. A lot of people kind of use this analogy talking about Black Lives Matter as a movement. When you're black, it's not a movement. It's a lifestyle. Back-to-back -back episodes every Wednesday. This should be no stereotypes, you know. Stereotypes are meant to be broken. So let's break them all down. On Fox Soul. Elon Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams about <laughs> Elon Musk. And I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. neither one of them can go back and to work. And neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. T-G-I-F. Kavaliza says, happy birthday, Q. Welcome to the 40 Club. Live and interactive. Thank you guys so much for the love, the well wishes. I am gladly accepting $40 donations. And for where's my the $40 going? To feed the children. It's a charity foundation. <laughs> Cherry Hunt said, you old now, baby. <laughs> On Fox Soul. You can't be using that young and supple anymore. Oh, Chachi, just as long as y'all almost 60, I will continue to use young and supple. <laughs> Game time kickoff at six. There you get a good look at number 44, Muhammad Nanga McKenna, one of the running backs tonight. He has been a star along with Xavier Evans. Those two is really, we were talking about coming into tonight, Lex Henry, he was the bell cow back last week. Right. But you have three impressive running backs for the Spartans. All three have shown what they can do tonight. Running back by committee. That's it. Those three combined for 15 carries. A little throw out and able to turn that into a big gain of seven. Out in space and getting free there was Nolan James, the freshman from Hampton. Well, 
little slip screen on the side and just have your man make a move. Nolan James, no, 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 you're right. You are absolutely right. Um, but he plays quarterback too, right? He is a yes. multi-talented, versatile player. He can play quarterback as this is going to go against the Spartans. We will see. They are arguing otherwise, but it appears that they are going to head back. And there is indeed the confirmation for Mr. Wimberg, our referee. The song says two step forward, then you take two steps back. <laughs> you get five or six yards, and then you go five back on the procedure. But when that man right there, Dawson Adams, spoke with our own Shayla Moore at halftime, he said it's about execution, not making the mistakes. They were good in the first half. They sure. didn't make those mistakes. Sure. Only three penalties in the first half. But they're starting to add to that count here. So now it'll be second and nine. They will keep it on the ground. A nice gain picks up close to six. Does Henry. I was about to say, he went away until you mentioned his name, Lex Henry, back on the scene. Well, three different backs. I mean, Henry listed at 5'8", 190 pounds, has size, but he's more elusive. He can bounce it outside. Obviously, the our cut. Man, Mr. Muhammad, he's the big back at 240 pounds. And then Evans has some size as well. He's the tweener. You're right. He's between. Has some size and speed, the combination, and knocks back nowhere to go. Henry met in the hole. Big number 96. Aki Nance, the University of Delaware transfer, introducing himself. The blue hen turning into a pirate. Nance out of Brick City, the Newark native. I think he was pretty happy to be there last week and come away with a victory over Grambling. No doubt. As Hampton able to force the punt. Graydon Wilcox, a good punt fielded at the 11, and that is where Hampton will start things off. So after prolific displays from both offenses in the first half, it has been stagnant. Neither team able to move the ball here thus far in the second. No, just trading punts and three and outs and I think some of the penalties that you mentioned are stalling these drives and right now the Pirates backed up inside their own 15 they need something long and sustained but some type of points you just said it long and sustained but that is for a team that has converted just one third down in seven attempts tonight that will not create long and sustained <laughs> that'll create punt team Got to convert on third, have to stay on the field. Apologies, they are one for six in third down conversions. The design quarterback, Keeper Zealous, around the side, maybe a yard as he is pushed out close to the line of scrimmage. But what was very, I think, uh, how I want to say it, successful are your big tight ends down the middle of the field. And you, you see that they've gone away. Foss, you said it. Both Evan King, TK Pesant, they are nightmare matchups. Both 6'5", close to 250. Pesant, 265 pounds. They can run. And they're going to take a shot down the field. The receiver fell down looking for a flag. It doesn't look like he's going to get it. And it was well defended. Well, here, here's the difference. When you throw the ball to the wide receivers... The defenders are being smart in using the boundary to help take away the ability to adjust to a pass. And they're playing over the top, which is great leverage on the wide receivers. When, when you have the big tight ends, they can adjust. Or a running back who's averaging over 12 yards a carry has not gotten those touches in the second half. Has Elijah Burst that he did in the first. Again, he was all over the field. Seven carries, 85 yards in the first half. But he's not been able to replicate that in the second as this is incomplete. And it is going to bring up another fourth down, another three and out for Hampton. Well, you know, again, that's why that coach is up in the press box. You've got to see that big 88 and 87 are open.
and they've got to get the ball back to the football game of mismatches. And so if you have mismatches, I don't care if you keep throwing it to them. It's okay. It's not the only sport that you take advantage of mismatches. Well, those coaches are playing the chess game. Their defensive backs have really stepped up. Mentioned guys like Joseph have. White. Obviously, R.J. Coles, the returning veteran. And this one will take a bounce, but not nearly what they were hoping for. Another short field, 38 yards is all the Spartans have to go to add to their lead. 7.34 remaining in the third. Still a five-point Norfolk State lead. Do you love Welcome inside the black box. So you guys ready to have some fun? Forget the hacking studio. I'm here with you guys. Creativity will find its way. It doesn't matter what the ethnicity is. Television and movies are the mediums of stereotypes. Just because we all have the same color don't mean we have the same experience. Your uniqueness is your greatness. Welcome inside the black box. Every Monday on Fox Soul. T-G-I-M. Cabo Lisa says, happy birthday, Q. Welcome to the 40 Club. Live and interactive. Thank you guys so much for the love, the well wishes. I am gladly accepting $40 donations. And for where's the $40 birthday. going? To feed the children. It's a charity <laughs> foundation. <laughs> Cherry Hunt said, you old now, baby. <laughs> On Fox Soul. You can't be using uh, that young and supple anymore. Oh, Chachi, just as long as y'all almost 50, I will continue to use young and supple. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams about <laughs> Elon Musk. And I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. neither one of them can go back and to work. neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. Jackie's breaking of the color barrier is the greatest moment in the history of baseball. The Rising, celebrating black athletes. I heard that he was picked. I said, there's no looking back. We're in. In sport and beyond. A lot of people kind of use this analogy to about Black Lives Matter as a movement. When you're black, it's not a movement. It's a lifestyle. Back-to-back -back episodes every Wednesday. This should be no stereotypes, you know? Stereotypes are meant to be broken. So let's break them all down. On Fox Soul. Welcome back to Armstrong Stadium here in Hampton, Virginia on BCSBN. The Battle of the Bay, Norfolk State leading Hampton by five as we check back in with Shaylin. Well, I am here with Assistant Director of the Hampton University Mighty Marching Force, Mr. Clifford Cox. Can you talk to us about your halftime performance? And I hear you all have a very big battle coming up next week in the battle of the real hu let's get into it oh yes yeah. so our halftime performance was a celebration of the 50th anniversary of hip-hop uh it's a it's a song that we're very proud of we've had a lot of fun performing as far as next week we'll be battling against the other hu up in dc for the battle with a real hu which of course is hampton university and what a play norfolk state First down, and they immediately go to the air. Jaden Homa, the freshman wide receiver out of Burnsville, Minnesota, the Alcorn State native, or transfer, I should say, wide open. No one there for the Pirates. And this stadium is absolutely aghast. Well, a nice little deviation, and then a nice pass to a wide open receiver on the sidelines there. The point after is good as well. Norfolk State extends the lead 21 to nine, a 7.34 remaining in the third. We'll go back and take another look at that replay, but first let's head back and check in with Shaylin. University marching force, Mr. Clifford Harris. You all, can you talk about your halftime performance? And then I hear you have a mighty big performance coming up next week in the Battle of the Real HU. Yes, so our performance is based on the history of hip hop, a celebration of the 50th anniversary. We're very proud of this show, and it is one of we had a lot of fun producing and a lot of fun uh, performing. As far as next week, we are engaged in a battle against the other HU in DC. But of course, Hampton University is the real HU. 
I think you heard it here first. He said it plain and simple. Um, what makes the marching force the baddest band in the land? For me, it's the fact that our students are here for the number one reason, which is to graduate. We want to get them through college and lead them on to become productive members of society. Awesome. Well, if you're tuned in and you play in the band and you want to go somewhere to get an education and not only play with quality sound, you heard it here first. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Clifford. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Clifford, uh, Dr. Thomas L. Jones, Director of Bands, the Hampton University Marching Force. And again, next week, it'll be the battle for the Real HU as they take on Howard in the Truth in Service Classic in Audi Stadium in Washington, D.C. But take another look, the trick play. Coons dropped back, and the quarterback on the money to Homuth. Homuth just had to beat one man for the touchdown. That's I think the, that had everyone fooled. Well, it's the traditional flea flicker. Hand off. Reverse back, flip back to your quarterback. Nobody covering the wide receiver downfield. Too much action because of the three rushers for Norfolk State. And you get action leads to failed assignments in the secondary and a wide open receiver on the sidelines for a 38-yard touchdown. One play, 38 yards, and a touch. Third butts there with the carry for Hampton. And you would imagine Hampton would take it back to the ground, either Butts or Burris. Burris so prolific, it will leave Butts in for the time being. But they need to pick up a third down. They need to get a long, sustained drive, as you said, Foss. That has not been what has not been possible here in the second half as they fumble this one. Butts lost it. Spartans pounce on it. It is Norfolk State ball everything going the Spartans way. You're absolutely right and right there, Johnny on the spot, A.J. Richardson, number 41, the linebacker. He recognizes that the ball is on the ground. Not a, too bad of an exchange. It just looked like there wasn't a determination of making the pocket and holding on to the football. And Richardson was there, an absolute gift, and he did not look a gift horse in the mouth, happy to take it. And it is another short field for the Spartans, and that has been the trend for Otto Coons in Norfolk State in the second half. Well, again, they're fighting hard, and when you talk about going up against a team that I think at home would have been poised as the favorite in this game, you see the road warrior aspects and... Also, the takeaways mounting up for Norfolk State. Good teams turn turnovers into points. The Spartans will keep this one on the ground. The clock keeps ticking. Evans there back on the carry, and he continues to impress. Just his third carry of the game, and already above 40 yards rushing. I'm going to tell you, that, that was Henry. I'm going to give my, my, my running back brethren out your guy, Lex Henry. It was 32. Indeed. Apologies there, Lex Henry, with his fifth carry. And he will stay in for the second and six. Henry gets another carry, and he is met at the line of scrimmage. And he'll be lucky to get back to it. Oh, Henry. Remaining in for the time being, third and five. Spartan's doing a really good job taking time off the clock, moving this clock and moving the chains while they're looking for opportunities. Now, last time it was one possession, it was one play off the flea flicker. But here, after a turnover, you would imagine they'd be conservative. This is within Wilcox's field goal range. And I say that they're going to head to the end zone and off the fingertips of Homuth. He had that flea flicker touchdown, but the big freshman couldn't bring this one in. That was going to be a tough catch over the shoulder, but this is a good pass because you only want your receiver to have an opportunity to catch the ball. Holy reaches out with one hand. I would have liked to see him lay out for the ball. He's a red zone mismatch. It's six foot six. That's Graydon Wilcox on the sophomore from Ocala, Florida. 33 yards. 
Same as an extra point in the NFL. The hold is good. The kick is as well. And the Spartans extend their lead 24 to 9, 509 remaining in the third. It is a third quarter that has belonged to Norfolk State. They've outscored Hampton 10 to nothing in the third. Well, we've seen the effort and the momentum carrying over from the first half through halftime. Doesn't look like Norfolk State, the Spartans, slowing down any against the team as bitter a rival as these Hampton Pirates. A lot to cheer about for the Spartan fans here that have made the very quick trip, just 15 miles. Obviously taking the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel, connecting these two universities. Still a lot of football remaining, 509 here in the third and entire fourth quarter. But Hampton needs something positive offensively. It has been all three and outs thus far in the third for the Pirates. Well, that's, the, that's the issue. Wilcox. Another booming kickoff. And Hampton wisely. Go ahead and start this one at the 25. But you see the difference in the two sidelines. Yes. Everybody on the Spartan sideline on their feet. You can feel the energy, the enthusiasm. And then over here on the Pirate sideline, just trying to work their way back into it. Well, they can do that. They have the firepower to get back into the game. They've got the Offensive Player of the Week with their quarterback. You've got to start firing the ball to your mismatches. The last week's as we mentioned his four touchdowns. He had 14 completions to six different receivers. Paul Woods led the way with five catches. Darren Butts had over 100 yards rushing. Burris has been the bright spot, as have the tight ends. Both King and Paysam. And Zellis will keep this himself. A nice gain will bring up second and three. He's a dual threat quarterback. Good size, 6'3", 220 but not just a pocket passer. No, it's not. But I would go up-tempo if I'm the Pirates with their offense. And again, it seems like they've forgotten about the tight end. Tight ends have not been targeted here in the second half. And the handoff able to get through. Here comes Burris. Burris with a first down and then some up across the 45 to the 46. And Burris continues to pick up 10 yards at a clip. Well, again, you asked him. Why go away from somebody who has that type of yards per carry? I wouldn't. And the offensive line of Hampton just doing a really good job at the point of attack and creating a run lane. Yeah, give those big men up front, Shaw, Dowdy, Hardy, or Raglan, give them credit. They are paving the way. And Zealous under pressure, looking for the sideline as this is... We'll see, was it caught? He was looking for Paul Woods, and I believe somehow Woods did indeed come down with that catch. Agreed. A incredible catch from Woods, tight roping the sideline. And biding some time with his legs, Chris Ellis, the quarterback. It'll be second and two, now the first down, a little quick hitter. This is what you wanted, that up-tempo as Dorian Moultrie picks up the first down and Hampton their first time, I should say second, moving the chains here, but their first drive that has been better than three and out in the second half. Uh, that's huge because, again, this is a sustained drive that can hopefully end up in points. And off to Burris. Burris on his feet across the 30, finally out of bounds. And Burris just continues. He's now over 100 yards on nine carries. And that average is right there, over 12 yards a carry for Elijah Burris. Well, again, just heady runner and breaking to the outside, running away from the defense while gaining yardage for the offense. 
It will mark him at the 28. First and 10 with 2.34 remaining in the third. Here comes Butts as the change of pace back, but not much of a change of pace as he picks up 10. And another first down for the Pirates. And that ground game paying dividends for Hampton. Well, because they've kind of had some success with this passing game, then they switch it up, go to the run. But that is longest run of the night. Able to pick up 10. Butts remains in. Callis to the air, has a man, and wouldn't you know it, it's a tight end touchdown. The second for TK Paysan. Well, that mismatch and that, pa that, that route has been there all, all evening. It's just, when do you want to use it? <laughs> and, and again, the matchup. You know, if I had you kid at 6'5", against a 5'9 guy, a 6'1 guy, I, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing it up high to you. <laughs> it's just physics. You can't get around a bigger person when the ball's thrown to the inside if there's no help on the inside. Hey, Sam, two touchdowns on three receptions. In the red zone, he is almost unstoppable. I think he's unstoppable in the middle of the field. Because you're not going to just stare him down if you're a good quarterback. You're going to do something, either play action or look off and then go right back to the seam route to the tight end. And that is exactly what the Hampton fans were looking for. March down the field, come away with points. And now it's the Spartan fans that have gone silent. The PAT from Zahoski, good. 24 to 16, a minute 47 remaining in the third. Pirates have woken up and we've got a ball game, friend. Absolutely. And, you know, <laughs> okay, you don't have to be fancy in football. That, 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 that's a misnomer you know four or five wide and we got okay hats off to the coordinators that came up with the run and shoot and all this stuff but basic fundamentals of a game are going to win out you mentioned a rushing average of double digits you saw a mismatch with both tight ends so it's not sexy but it's effective you and i have a Mutual friend, a former coach at Illinois University of Texas, and he <laughs> says very simply, don't fancy it up. No, do not. It's a simple game, a big booming kick, and the Spartans again will have a long field, and part of what made things so difficult for Hampton was the fact that on three straight drives, Norfolk State started inside Hampton territory. Yeah, you know, short fields, because the percentages go up on the opportunity to put points on the board. We'll see if Hampton can force maybe a three and out. They have not been able to do that in the second half, but there's some momentum, energy on the Pirates' sideline with 147 remaining in the third. And the Pirates have cut this to an eight-point game. It's the combination of that ground game, Elijah Burris, Darian Butts, and those star tight ends, Evan King and TK Paysant. Paid big time dividends for the Pirates. Yeah, and, and and again, when you analyze things, you don't have to take it to nth degrees. You can see <laughs> where you can attack your opponent. Coons, 12 of 17, 160, 76 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. And able to get away somehow, turning this into a positive gain. Henry out there thought he's going to be wrapped up for a loss, and he gains five. Yeah, and that is just the elusiveness of the playmaker because that was a very simple reception that could have resulted in a negative play turned into a positive due to who caught the ball. Yeah, they're going to say that a gain of four, but either way, turns that into a positive gain, does Lex Henry the third. Clock 
Clock getting closer to that one minute mark remaining in the third quarter. It will be second and seven, Coons underneath. Quick hitter has a man open. That's Elijah Mitchell, the freshman from Capitol Heights, Maryland with his first reception of the ball game. Close to DC, used to be there uh, a lot. And uh, you know, you can play football all over the place. The United States is a great sports country. And uh, you know, close to the Washington Commanders. And I know it, sometimes you like the Ravens. It just depends, you know, uh, where you are in the beltway and who you listen to. But uh, the, these guys are, are, are playing well this evening, making plays. Mitchell able to pick up the first down and back to the ground they go with Henry into Pirates territory up across the 30 before he heads out of bounds. But this is going to come back. We will see. Hold on. It will not. That was Evans' apologies there. And Evans, that will stand most importantly for Norfolk State. So Evans with a huge gain and continues to impress before this had just two rushes for 36 yards. And every time he touches the ball, he is able to make something happen. Is Xavion Evans a huge gain? And it'll be first and 10, Norfolk State back in Hampton territory. Evans, a gain of 31 yards on the rush. Welcome inside the black box. So you guys ready to have some fun? Forget the hacking studio. I'm here with you guys. Creativity will find its way. It doesn't matter what the ethnicity is. Television and movies are the mediums of stereotypes. Just because we all have the same color don't mean we have the same experience. Your uniqueness is your greatness. Welcome inside the black box. Every Monday on Fox Soul. Jackie's breaking of the color barrier is the greatest moment in the history of baseball. The rising, celebrating black athletes. I heard that he was picked. I said, there's no looking back. We're in. In sport and beyond. A lot of people kind of use this analogy to about Black Lives Matter as a movement. When you're black, it's not a movement. It's a lifestyle. Back-to-back -back episodes every Wednesday. This should be no stereotypes, you know? Stereotypes are meant to be broken. So let's break them all down. On Fox Soul. Elon Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams about Elon Musk. And I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. neither one of them can go back and to work. And neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. T-G-I-F. Cabo Lisa says, happy birthday, Q. Welcome to the 40 Club. Live and interactive. Thank you guys so much for the love, the well wishes. I am gladly accepting $40 donations. And for where's the $40 going? To feed the children. It's a charity <laughs> foundation. <laughs> Cherry Hunt said, you old now, baby. <laughs> On Fox Soul. You can't be using that young and supple anymore. Oh, Chachi, just as long as y'all almost 50, I will continue to use young and supple. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's breaking of the color barrier is the greatest moment in the history of baseball. The rising, celebrating black athletes. I heard that he was picked. I said, there's no looking back. We're in. In sport and beyond. A lot of people kind of use this analogy to about Black Lives Matter as a movement. When you're black, it's not a movement. It's a lifestyle. Back-to-back -back episodes every Wednesday. This should be no stereotypes, you know. Stereotypes are meant to be broken. So let's break them all down. On Fox Soul. Elon Musk posted on Twitter expressing his willingness to participate in a cage fight with Mark Zuckerberg. McMillan and Mara. I don't give two dams about <laughs> Elon Musk. And I don't care about Mark Zuckerberg, who helped to facilitate the onslaught of social media, which is ruining democracy and destroying slowly but surely black culture. Every Thursday. I hope they beat each other's brains and out. neither one of them can go back and to work. neither one of them can go back to work. That might not make it on the social media page. Welcome back, 64th Annual Battle of the Bay. Norfolk State continues to impress with the run game. Xavion Evans ripping off a 31-yard rush. He has 67 yards on three rushing attempts. Foss, he is averaging better than 22 yards 
a touch. And you add that to Lex Henry and Muhammad Nagumakena. Those three, 21 rushes. They are over 100 yards in combined. That three-headed monster is really putting it down for the Spartans. Yeah, and they're matching uh, Hampton's output as well. Pretty close. The balance is allowing uh, this Spartan offense to make strides in the passing game as well. Again, under the direction of first-year offensive coordinator Ray Pickering, first collegiate coaching job after being an offensive analyst at Texas a year ago, and he certainly understands spread the wealth. When you have three talented backs, as Coach Prunty and his side, they've been relying tonight on Elijah Burris. He has 111 yards himself on nine rushes. So two different philosophies. You've got one back who's over 100, and then you have three who are over 100, but the result, the same. Yeah, I just need rushing yards with no football on the turf. That's been an issue tonight, particularly for the Pirates. Those turnovers. They've turned the ball over twice. One turnover tonight by the Spartans. And Hampton doing a better job defensively there, trying to bow their neck, and they will bring up a fourth and five. We'll see what the Spartans do here. It'll be a long field goal attempt. We've seen Graydon Wilcox. And there it is, that Spartan rushing attack. Four rushers, if you include Otto Coons, the quarterback. And it will indeed... B. Wilcox back on, and it's bobbled. Wilcox falls on it. Shades of last week, a botched field goal attempt. That was the case in their loss to Virginia State. Something you think they would have worked on time and time again in practice, but a huge mistake, and now the door is open for the Pirates. You're absolutely right. There was a couple things on that. Uh, set up in the alignment. Didn't look like it was seven yards back. The ball didn't look like it got off the ground at all. Very hard for then the holder because it's almost bouncing back. You're on one knee. You've, you've got to get the ball, set it. Uh, you can use the tee in high school and college, and then you've got to get it. It's just too much. <laughs> it's too much to say, let alone try to do before the rush ensues. And they certainly could not do it. The botch snap leads to the turnover on downs. So Hampton will have it first and 10 at their own 33. And back, well, who else but Elijah Burris, why not? And that may be his shortest run tonight for the man averaging 12.3 yards a carry. Yeah, he's got a lot of sneaky rushes that you probably don't put back to back, and that's why you don't put the numbers back to back. But every time... Five has touched it. Seems to go a long way. He picks up five, does number five for the Pirates, and back with Burris they will go. And getting tackled after a gain of three will bring up third and two. So every time, even when it looks like he's not making those big carries we're so accustomed to seeing from him, he still picks up two or three yards. Well, positive yards, third and manageable kit, and now there's a lot of options because the quarterback can also rush this football. Now Zealous tonight already has 24 yards of rushing along with 190 in the air, but it's going to go to Burris who loses it. It's fumbled Spartans ball in Norfolk State across the 25, the 10, and knocked out of bounds at the 5. Third Pirates turnover tonight, and the Spartans make them pay. Kevin King with the return, the sophomore from Chesapeake, Virginia. Yes, he did. And I tell you, just an unfortunate time for Burris to lose the football because we're making positive. Like you're picking up the first down. And full credit, Keyshawn Lynch, the big defensive lineman, was in. He was able to get the strip, was the redshirt sophomore. The tackle was there. He had a hand on the ball, able yes. to dislodge it, and King took it the other way. Yeah, I don't think Burris really anticipated 
that type of strip. You know, figured he was past the first level of those defensive linemen and was just looking at linebackers and secondary per personnel. And right there, the big strip from the defensive linemen. Again, third turnover tonight by the Pirates. Norfolk State, another opportunity to extend this lead in yes. what has been a back-and-forth affair all night long. That was a 17-yard gain that got taken away. So, again, over that average, but that cardinal sin. There, there's a cardinal sin on offense, which is a turnover to your opponent. You can't have them. I don't care if it's a rush or an interception. You, you can't fumble. You can't in, have an interception. It really makes it, – it's, it's debilitating. It's gut-wrenching. It, it, you lose games, period. False start against the Spartans. will back them up first in goal from the 10. Coons with a handoff. Henry maybe falls forward for a yard. Boss, you said it. That was a gain of 17 when that ball was stripped by Lynch. Right. But all that for naught. I mean, you can rip off those big runs, but it is about, and you know this, football 101. Yes. Keep <laughs> possession. Maintain you, possession. Right, because even if you lose yards, you can gain them back. But you can't gain the ball back if you turn it over. Unless your defense takes it away from the opponent. And just when it looked like Hampton was going to be marching, it had some momentum. Yes. It's a, another short field for the Spartans. Second and goal from the nine. Coons, plenty of time, has a man complete. Touchdown, Norfolk State. Jermaine Salbert with his first of the night. Yeah, and you got to like the choice that you have right there. Nice bunch route, and then you just run away from the defender right to the front of the end zone. And good timing as Otto Coons right on the money. It's Albert, his first reception. First tally. As Wilcox sends the point after through in Norfolk State, their largest lead of the ball game, up 31 to 16, and 10 35 remaining is their time for the Pirates to mount. Are you tired of seeing money all around the house? Then start saving money with First American Home Warranty. First American covers the systems and appliances you depend on every day. And if we can't repair your covered item, we'll replace it. I've saved thousands, and that makes me happy. All plans include a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee and flexible payment options so you can never pay for covered repairs again. Call 1-800-395-5945. That's 800-395-5945. My dad's name was David. He always talked about getting life insurance, and now it's too late. Don't be Dave, and don't wait until it's too late to get the life insurance coverage you need. If you're over 50, you can't be turned down for this insurance. There's no medical exam, no health questions. Your rate will never go up. Your coverage will never go down. And rates start as low as $5 a week. 800-540-0299. People aren't afraid of hard work, and we don't quit till the job is done. For over a hundred years, Long Lewis has partnered with Alabama to provide honest value. Our best price up front every time. No dealer fees ever. Even a money-back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied. That's how we became the largest dealer in Alabama and number one in customer satisfaction in the nation. Because in the long run, it's Long Lewis. Just the right crunch to let you pretend not to hear the doorbell. Welcome back. The Battle of the Bay, Norfolk State in Hampton. The Spartans able to extend the lead 31 to 16, turning a turnover into points as good teams do as we check back in with Shaylin on the sideline.
But turnovers are still ailing the Pirates as, as you all can see off of that last play. Norfolk is doing everything right to really win this game and take a lead. Speaking of the rivalry, Coach Robert Prunty has won all four home openers since he took over the leadership here with Pirate Football. I think for him, it's mostly important to try to figure out to do whatever they can offensively to try to fight back within. There's still enough time on the game clock, but it'll really take a full team effort offensively and defensively. Thank you, Shailen. We'll see if there is time, 10.35 remaining, and they clock certainly a factor at this point, Foss. We've seen oh, wow. the momentum, some good drives from Zealous in Hampton. They've been able to get it. You mentioned pace on there along with King. The impressive tight ends is a nice throw outside, able to hit Paul Woods. He's got the first down. But they are going to have to move quickly. And most importantly, after three turnovers, they have to hang on to the ball. Three turnovers is just, it's hard to stomach because. You know, you're getting points off those turnovers. You know, Norfolk State is just taking advantage of every miscue that the Pirates have given them. Hampton not helping themselves out in third down situations as they are just one of eight in third down conversions tonight as this is caught. Butts able to climb the ladder but couldn't come down in time to turn it into much positive. The clock continues to roll now under 10 minutes. Well, you see how the sideline can be the friend of the defense. And, you know, there was nowhere for Butts to go. He had to make a heck of a catch. I almost would have, you know, let that one go out of bounds. There was just nothing you could do because the momentum carried you towards the sideline. It'll be a loss of two. A wise man standing next to me once said that the sideline has never missed a tackle. And I think you're exactly right about that, my friend. Oh, absolutely. And, and here... Uh, no different. Second and 12, 9.36 remaining. Zellis under pressure, steps up in the pocket, looks, and he will tuck it to run, and he's going to be hit in the backfield. Another loss, and this is going to bring up third and long for the Pirates. Well, great defense. First, this is a coverage sack right there. You know, what you usually have is buying some time so that you can find an open receiver. Nobody was open in the Norfolk State secondary. The Spartans had everyone covered. They've got an impressive secondary, do the Spartans. We talked about some of those men, Joseph White, RJ Coles, a lot of talent in the defensive backfield as it brings up third and 13. Hampton looking to convert just their second third down of the ball game. And that is also huge. Zealous has a man He's past the sticks, and it's caught first down. Paul Woods keeps the drive alive. Well, there's your, your big target, and you got to count on uh, moneymakers at this point because you're down two scores right there. A good route, push the defender back, and then be able to come back, make the catch, and be beyond the sticks. Again, Paul Woods, he was Ellis' favorite target last week in the Brick City Classic. Five receptions, and here they come busting through. It's Butts. Butts is going to take it to the house, and Hampton is back. Darren Butts with the touchdown for the Pirates. Well, that's what you want, the burst. Great blocking, and the red shirt senior to the house. And you saw the speed, 53 yards, just kind of up the gut. Good blocking at the point of attack. You got to break a tackle. The first guy's your responsibility if you're the running back. And then you just, hey, it's to the house. You do this as an elementary school kid playing during recess. Run away from everybody. Butts to the house indeed. 53-yard touchdown, his first of the night. And the PAT is up and good. So with 8-11 remaining, it is back to an eight-point game, and this one is not done yet. Hampton fans who left, they may be trying to make their way back into Armstrong State. Are you tired of seeing money all around the house? Then start saving money with First American Home Warranty. First American covers the systems and appliances you depend on every day. And if we can't repair your covered item, we'll replace it. I've saved thousands, and that makes me happy. All plans include a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee and flexible payment options so you can never pay for covered repairs again. Call 1-800-395-5945. That's 800-395-5945. My dad's name was David. He always talked about getting life insurance, and now... 
it's too late. Don't be Dave, and don't wait until it's too late to get the life insurance coverage you need. If you're over 50, you can't be turned down for this insurance. There's no medical exam, no health questions. Your rate will never go up. Your coverage will never go down. And rates start as low as $5 a week. 800-540-0299. Church's Texas Size Grande Meal. More joy, starting at only 30 bucks. With Got To Be Metallics, I don't just stand out, I shine. Pastel or bold, I decide. Contracts, price hikes, surprises. That's a lot of yada yada. Correct. I knew it. But when you join Metro, there is not a yada yada. Try new Poise overnight pads with a 75% wider back for worry-free sleep. Point game 11. It has been fantastic. 8 11, I should say, remaining in the ball game, and it is an eight point affair indeed in the Battle of the Bay. Norfolk State 31, Hampton 23. But Hampton able to respond, and Darren Butts a 53 yard touchdown run up the middle. Previous to that, Foss, he had eight carries for a total of 11 yards, but nobody was going to catch number 22 in blue. We will see if Hampton can indeed mount the comeback. It looks like they were dead in the water. Oh, my gosh. Yes, the pirate boat was sinking. The ship was sinking. Well, looks like they've taken the water out of the galley, and uh, they're ready to go. They are indeed. Norfolk State will return this one from inside their own 10 and up just shy of the 30 as a late flag comes in. From about 40 yards, that, that was a pretty good toss by the officiating crew. So that's probably going to move uh, the Spartans back a little bit, possibly. You would imagine so, and it was going to be good starting field position for Norfolk State up just shy of their 30. We will see Older where they go. in the back, buddy. The traditional hold. <laughs> a complimentary hold on the return. There it is. Imagine that. Thank you, officiating crew. But uh, look, now it gets real interesting. Plenty of time. You know, uh, when you play your first two years of high school, the quarters were only eight minutes. And shoot, you can score two or three times in that amount of time. And the momentum may be swinging. Seventh penalty of the ball game against the Spartans. It was actually... Hampton, who led in penalties, not a stat you ever want to lead in in the first half. Right. They've, they've cleaned things up here in the second. Only two penalties against the Pirates in the second half. It'll be first and 10 from the 17 for the Spartans. Well, you see a swarming defense now. And again, sucking up either rusher, whether it's <laughs> Evans, Henry, Naya Makunga. Yeah, that was Naya Xavier on Evans. Yes. And again, we've seen all three of them. They've been impressive as that trio. But right now, I think, for Coach Odoms and the Spartans, it's about walking this tightrope that is taking time off the clock. Yes. But you want to keep the drive alive as you well. Can't, you, you just can't shut down the engine. You got to keep trucking. You can't park the bus just yet. No. They've got to keep going ahead, even if it's very slow. Henry this time. We will see. It's going to be third and short. Now that was Evans again. Excuse me. Those two, very impressive. Similar running styles, both talented. And Evans is able to pick up three. So it'll be third and four as the clock ticks down to seven minutes remaining in the ball game. And the bigger of the three backs coming in. I don't know if he's the bigger of the three backs. So Mr. Mohammed's checking in at about 244 pounds. Here is our good friend, number 44. I think that's appropriate that he wears that. He's been impressive, the Brooklyn native. And we will see if they indeed hand it to number 44 and he can pick up this first down and keep the drive a lot. Ooh, a timeout. Spartans will indeed take their second timeout. 
of the half. So one left for Norfolk State. 6.32 remaining in the ball game. We'll take a break. Stick with us. The 64th Battle of the Bay. 15 miles separate these two, but right now... They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. Not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount, and that's how easy it is. And I did this to my father. We were at home, four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. My dad's name was David. He always talked about getting life insurance, and now it's too late. Don't be Dave, and don't wait until it's too late to get the life insurance coverage you need. If you're over 50, you can't be turned down for this insurance. There's no medical exam, no health questions. Your rate will never go up. Your coverage will never go down, and rates start as low as $5 a week. 800-540-0299. Are you tired of seeing money all around the house? Then start saving money with First American Home Warranty. First American covers the systems and appliances you depend on every day. And if we can't repair your covered item, we'll replace it. I've saved thousands, and that makes me happy. All plans include a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee and flexible payment options so you can never pay for covered repairs again. Call 1-800-395-5945. That's 800-395-5945. Eight eleven remaining in the ball game, and Hampton has cut it back to an eight-point deficit. The Pirates and the Spartans, the Battle of the Bay. Foss, it looked for all the world that Norfolk State had one foot in the bus. They were ready to head home and celebrate, but Hampton has said not so fast. Absolutely, and a big down here in this fourth quarter. Third and four, big one indeed. Spartans there, four of eleven in third down conversions. They're not going to get it. And that is going to bring up fourth and a long one, maybe fourth and two. And it looks like Coons and the Spartans offense are staying out. No. They got to punt. They wanted to, but they will indeed Look, punt it away. You're up eight. You're up eight. So, so you're going to have to go for two just to tie. Spartans had gone for it twice tonight. They were 0 for 2 in fourth down conversion, so that may have played a factor as well. Well, that's huge. But you got to count, right? Two times. 0 for 2, 8 points. Be smart. They'll punt it away. And Hampton will field it just outside of their own 30. It'll be the 31 where Copeland calls for the fair catch. 5.47 remaining, 8-point ball game. Foss. The Battle of the Bay, one of the most intense rivalries in all of college athletics, not just in HBCU sports. And again, these two schools are 15 miles apart. So many of these young men played with and against each other in high school. Right. This is a game that you have circled on your calendar from the time the schedule comes out. Yeah, you, you, you just enjoy that because one guy goes over here, a couple guys on this team, and you're right. Early in the season... Nothing like it. And we talked about some of those Hampton products playing for Norfolk State and yes. vice versa. And wrapped up immediately was Butts. They are not going to let him get free. They know what he can do. Last time he touched it, he took it to the house for 53 yards. Yeah, I think I would use him more like a decoy. This ball needs to get down the field quickly because I would like to see what the decision would be if you can get a quick score. I'm not sure if you go for two. If you have all three of your timeouts. Tariq Miles, the linebacker, was there with the stop. Zealous to the air. And that is incomplete. Knocked away. And maybe fortunate it wasn't intercepted as Joseph White tried to make a play on it. 
and the former Virginia Cavalier just couldn't come down with it. Yeah, but a great break on the ball. The anticipation was there. And guess what? You saw smaller receivers. Where are those big tight ends? You don't have to wait till you get to the 30-yard line of your opponent. Elijah Burris waiting his turn. He has 137 yards on 12 carries. He's averaging better than 11 yards at such for the Pirates. Third and 12. They converted just two third down conversions tonight. Zealous to the air. Down the sideline. It is incomplete. Paul Woods the target. No flags on the play. Yeah, good defense. And again, Norfolk State in the secondary using the sidelines to make it very difficult to make an adjustment and stay in bounds. You can't do it. You know, you're throwing to a point 20 to 25 yards downfield in a very small area that your receiver has to adjust to the ball and then stay in bounds. You, it, it's just such a low percentage play. And a huge defensive stop for the Spartans as Tristan Eaton the grad student transfer from Henderson State University will have to punt it away from his own 15. A good punt here from Heaton. Fair caught at the 26 with five minutes exactly remaining. Still an eight-point Spartans lead. Hampton needs a stop, and they need the ball if they're going to find a way to come. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. Not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount, and that's how easy it is. And I did this to my father. We were at home, four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. My dad's name was David. He always talked about getting life insurance, and now it's too late. Don't be Dave, and don't wait until it's too late to get the life insurance coverage you need. If you're over 50, you can't be turned down for this insurance. There's no medical exam, no health questions. Your rate will never go up. Your coverage will never go down, and rates start as low as $5 a week. 800-540-0299. Are you tired of seeing money all around the house? Then start saving money with First American Home Warranty. First American covers the systems and appliances you depend on every day. And if we can't repair your covered item, we'll replace it. I've saved thousands, and that makes me happy. All plans include a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee and flexible payment options so you can never pay for covered repairs again. Call 1-800-395-5945. That's 800-395-5945. Welcome back, 64th edition of the Battle of the Bay, and it has been a good one between Norfolk State and Hampton. Five minutes remaining. Norfolk State offense back out on the field, leading by eight alongside Steve Foster. I'm Kip McConico. Glad to have you with us here on BCSB. And hope you'll join us all season long. And while you're at it, head over to bcsbn.com. You can take a look at the games we have coming up, eight full weeks of action, the best HBCU football that you are going to see anywhere. Yeah, agreed. And right now, pretty good one. As we had mentioned, the Battle of the Bay, you can get here through a tunnel, uh, boats out on the waterway, roll on up. Listen, this one, uh, you don't leave a rivalry game early. That's the difference between you and I. I'd be going through the HRBT tunnel. You know people. You'd be showing up at Hampton in a boat. Yeah, why not? That's why I hang out with you. It's always good to know people. Life's too short now to go anything less than VIP. Okay? <laughs> Again, <laughs> Steve Foster, those second and ten for the Spartans of Norfolk State. Coons, he's had a good night. He'll hand it to the big back, and here comes Muhammad. Nagamokena rumbling 
He's been impressive, part of that three-headed monster. That is 12th carry and up to 39 yards for the Brooklyn native. That's the basic off-tackle play and a great push up front and getting a, a block on the Hampton defensive line and pushing that second level, the linebackers out of the way too. Third and very manageable. Spartans 145 yards rushing as a team, 78 of that with Xavion Evans. But a long run of 31. As Hampton will take their second timeout, 348 remaining, down to their final timeout are the Pirates. Otto Coons, again, his second year with the Spartans after transferring from Eastern Illinois. Last year, completed 54% of his passes, had right. 1,400 yards, 11 touchdowns. But Coach said it really it was what they saw off the field. They complete 360. He has been a better teammate. He's made a conscious effort to be a leader in the locker room. And coming from your quarterback, that has a great trickle-down effect. You have to be. I mean, you know, it's interesting how people choose the positions they play in any sport. Uh, in particular, though, when you're a quarterback, you, you, you take on a lot of responsibility. You have it. There's no way of really giving it to someone else on the field. Well, he's been the guy tonight, 15 of 20, 199 yards passing, three touchdowns, one interception. Also, 15 yards on four carries, rushing. Here comes Muhammad again, lowers the shoulder, and he's going to get, I think they're going to mark him just shy of the first down marker. We'll see. Uh, Spartans. I think they're going to give it to him. Maybe they, they, they get him. First down, we'll see. Maybe they measure. You don't see that anymore. Usually they just kind of do this, come on through, kind of move, and they just did that again. Uh, well, are they going to, yep, they're going to. No, no. <laughs> I think they are going to measure this time. But that's a rarity now. It used to be a, a lot in football. You wanted to see what that measurement, and the guy would come out there with a little, like, you know. You wanted to see how many links in the chain. Yes. You and I are showing don't our skip, age. Don't skip that part of the game. So turned over, and we will see. Hold on. It'll be fourth down, and they're going to see how many links are indeed in the aforementioned chain. And remember, the crowd would go nuts one way or the other, depending if you got the first down. And is it the credit card? Oh, it's a first down. First by down card. by a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> or a debit card. Whatever you have in the wallet. Either way, or you just do Apple Pay these days. Oh, see? That's a lot smaller than a phone. Oh, God. But it takes away the measurement millimeters. So able to pick up the first down, and Muhammad Nagamakina leaning forward, that big 6'2", 240-pound frame, just enough for the first down, keeps the drive alive. And now with 3.33 remaining, Norfolk State is just about keeping possession and taking time off the clock as Hampton just trying desperately to get the ball back as they trail by eight. Well, again... Norfolk State looking to get their first win. Uh, they want to make it against a rival, a very close rival, a rival that has beaten them as of late. And in this series, games decided by seven points or fewer, Hampton has an 11 to 8 lead, and games decided by three points or fewer, it is Hampton has won seven of those nine. So when it's close, more often than not, it's the Pirates. We thought Norfolk State was going to be able to run away with this. Hampton has reeled them back in. To give the Spartans full credit as Xavion Evans comes back on. Three talented running backs. They have led the way. And you pair that with a talented quarterback, yes. some good receivers just doing their job, nothing extraordinary, just making the catches they need to do. That's a potent combination on offense. I, I agree, and I, I just wonder why the Pirates went away from the big tight end targets. They had the running game going, and you have a dual threat quarterback, but the big receivers were a huge help. Well, that was their ticket, and, we, and you really saw it. I mean, it was Burris who was breaking off yards at a time. He was doing his job, and then you pair that with King and Paysan, who were really nightmare matchup. I mean, there were no one who could take them. 
And that was how Hampton really was making their bread and butter. They started to go away from it for whatever reason. 30-second timeout taken by the Pirates. They have one remaining, 229 left in this one. The Spartans, a win tonight. It'd be their second win in three tries over their rivals. Right. And it would be, obviously, their first victory of the season. Their second straight road victory dating back to last season. Voss, you said it. If they're going to be good this year, they're going to have to win on the road. Seven road games for Norfolk State, never playing in back-to-back -back home games this season, including that 700-mile trip down to Nashville. We said it will be with you for the next eight weeks. We'll see some of these teams again. You can see that full schedule, bcsbn.com. We want to hear from you. The excitement, the pageantry, the fans, the bands, everything that makes HBCU football so unique. I want you to chime in. Send us your pictures, your videos, wherever you are, bcsbn.com. Absolutely. You sent a few videos in, or I saw some pictures. You were at the Pro Football Hall of Fame this summer. Yes. Evans picks up a few, but more importantly, continues to take time off the clock as Hampton will take their third and final timeout. 2.21 remaining. Well, now, given circumstances, you do get Pater, you're going to have to go for two for the tie. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because I think an extra point was missed. And you wonder how that plays. It'll be fourth and five for Coons and the Spartans after the timeout. And the atmosphere absolutely electric. And as you always say, it's not just about the football teams. It's everyone that makes this pageant so special. Everyone that makes it possible and that very rarely gets the credit they deserve. That's right. Um, you know, you don't understand, I think, in the moment, all the things that go into uh, making this a special occasion. Punted away by Wilcox. And this one takes the Spartans' bounce inside the 10 and will roll all the way down to the Pirates' five before it's down. Hampton has to go 95 yards. They have 209 to do it. They don't just need a touchdown. They need a two-point conversion as well. And that's going to be the difficult thing because you could probably get away with a one-play drive for 95 yards, but do you get the two-point conversion to tie? That is the question. The Hampton University marching force, the Norfolk State University Spartan Legion, our halftime extravaganza. They continue to provide the atmosphere here at Armstrong Stadium. But it's the fans in green and gold that have made the short trip. They are the happier, at least for the time being. We'll see if that is the case in two minutes and nine seconds. Zealous will take it out of the shotgun inside his own end zone. Four-man rush. Zealous, this one tipped and intercepted by the Spartans into the hands of Joseph White. White. Where is Joseph White going? That was the and question, and he will go out of bounds. Spartans ball, and that may well secure it. Transfer from Virginia last year, an immediate impact for the former Lansdowne High standout. Had two interceptions, 43 tackles a year ago. He was all MEAC's second team preseason, and he shows why he is one to watch one of the top defensive backs in the MEAC. Yeah, and just stays over top, meaning having the leverage deeper than the receivers and the tip drill, uh, teammate to teammate. And uh, as I'm looking, I want to be correct. No PATs missed that I see, so excuse me on that one. Fourth turnover of the ball game by the Pirates. They turned it over twice last week in their yes. victory in the Brick City Classic over Grambling. That is something they knew they needed to clean up. It is hard to win a ball game when you turn it over four times. It's so difficult because it just takes away from your drive opportunities. Hampton, no timeouts remaining, so it'll be victory formation for Coons and the Spartans from here on out. And they just have to go ahead and watch the clock tick down to zeros. The Battle of the Bay headed to Norfolk. Well... You got to finish a game. And you talked about 
the turnovers. It's hard to finish a game when you can't get the possessions. You know, that's four possessions. You could have gotten two field goals, and, and it would have changed how you would have attacked these last five to six minutes. A massive game for the Spartans. It'll move them to one and one. It'll drop the Pirates to one and one. Absolute elation on the Norfolk State sideline. You said it coming into this. Hampton may have been the slight favorite because of their performance yes. in Newark last week, their victory over Grambling. But Norfolk State, they knew what they had to do. Coach Odoms brought them on this short 15-mile trip, and it has been a business trip. They have been firmly focused from the opening kick. Yeah, and they had the defense leading the way, and that's what you want. And now it's the Spartan Legion band leading the way. Victory time, the celebrations ensuing for the green and gold. And those fans right there will have bragging rights in the Battle of the Bay for the next 364 days. Yeah, and a hard-fought game. Uh, but the turnovers, I think, insurmountable uh, over four quarters. And that truly, to me, a big difference in the outcome in this game. And ultimately, I would agree with you. I think that's what did it. Four turnovers, two interceptions, two fumbles, and as good as they were in numerous aspects, when you give the ball away four times against a good opponent like Norfolk State, chances are you're not going to come up in the winning end of that score line. No, one was inside the five-yard five line. So, you know, what could have been. Well, congratulations to Coach Dawson Odoms, 30 years the head coach of the Spartans of Norfolk State as they come to Armstrong Stadium and they take the Battle of the Bay 31 to 23 over their arch rival Hampton University Pirates. And it's going to be a quick and sweet trip home for Norfolk State. Boss, you and I mentioned those four turnovers. Take a look at the stats from this one. Aside from that, pretty even. You look at Hampton outgaining Norfolk State by almost 100 yards in total yards, but just two of 10 in third down conversions and four turnovers. There it is. That, that you know, when you uh, uh, raise the hood and you go, what's wrong? And the technician looks, those two things stopped Hampton from winning this game. I don't think either side is going to be particularly pleased with their third down conversion rate. Norfolk State just 5 of 15, but considerably better than Hampton. And again, Four turnovers, not to beat a dead horse, but doesn't matter how many yards you come up with, what you do when you turn the ball over. And as you said, in critical situations, the Pirates, one of the big reasons they are going to come up on the losing end tonight. Yeah, and they can see it. It's pretty plain. You know, a lot of times you say, oh, I want to search for what, what happened. There, it, it was there in the graphics. 31 to 23, the final in the Battle of the Bay. Kicking off our BCSBN coverage. Hope you'll join us all season long as we head down to check in with Shalen standing by with the Spartans winning quarterback, Otto Coons. Coons, you had a great night tonight. Three touchdowns, great performance. Can you talk about your performance and what you plan to do offensively coming into this game tonight? Man, I just trust the whole line. We had a rough, uh, rough week last week, but we came in this. We believed in each other. Offense believed in the defense. Defense believed in the offense, and we got it done. Speaking of last week, what was the mindset this week in practice to make sure that you didn't carry any of that weight into here at Armstrong Stadium? Man, we know who we are. We know what work we put in every week. I mean, we know what we're supposed to do. So we just believed in each other. We believed in the process, and it got us here. Speaking of the process, you all were predicted to finish fifth in the MEAC preseason. What has these non-conference games taught you about this team and what you all plan to do in conference? Yeah, we can beat anybody that lines up across from us. We beat ourselves most of the time, but if we do what we need to do, we beat everybody, anybody that lines up across from us. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time, and congratulations on the win. Appreciate you. The battle of the 757 goes to Norfolk State. The Spartans take the 64th Battle of the Bay for our entire crew, for Shaylin Moore down on the field. For my broadcast partner, Steve Foster, I'm Kit McConaughey, wishing you good night from Armstrong Stadium in Hampton, Virginia. It's Norfolk State taking the Battle of the Bay by a final score of 31 to 23. This has been a presentation of BCSBN.